Good afternoon everybody and welcome to the stream! I'm Robert from the El Magnifico Games channel and today we're going to continue with our playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now last stream, which was our first time playing this game, uh, well the game started with uh, th at the protagonist of this character, Mr Morgan and his compatriots who seem to be a group of ne'er-do-wells who operate under an individual called Davy. They were escaping into the mountains with apparently the law following them. Uh, their, Mr. Morgan didn't seem entirely clear what had gone wrong. I mean, apparently he's lived a life of crime, so the idea that they'd be running away from the law into the mountains wasn't um, that strange to him. But he didn't seem to know specifically what had happened. What we've managed to piece together since then was that in a town called Blackwater there was some sort of incident with a rival crime gang called the Pinkertons. Apparently uh, there was some idea about robbing a boat which had a lot of money on it. Uh, I think we were told whose idea that was as well. Mr. Morgan. If I happen... Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient yes. to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Interesting. Okay. Sorry, as I'm... He'll find something too. He always does. As I'm recapping... I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. The game seems to be progressing. So she said head to Emerald City. I missed who it was that asked us to meet them there, but I think we know where that is. Anywho, the recap. Yes, it was Mr. Micor Bell who uh, set up the whole boat heist. Apparently it went very badly, and before long they were surrounded by Pinkertons. They lost a few people who were shot dead. Uh, some of them were injured but survived, and one of them, Sean, was left behind. Presumed dead, but we've since learnt they probably weren't. Anyway, uh, the um, the whole the group, I don't know what their collective name is, Davies Gang, they managed to uh, make it through the mountains safely, although it took them some time, and when they had done so, they found themselves here at Horseshoe Overlook, and they seem to be trying to set up here. Uh, for a time. Seems to be a relatively safe place where they aren't all that well known, or so they thought. Until of course Mr. Morgan went into town and then a man accused him of um, of having been in Blackwater. He didn't specifically say, he didn't specifically link Mr. Morgan to anything, um, anything any wrongdoing. But yes, this man was behaving rather strangely. He was on horseback and he kept questioning Mr. Morgan about whether he had been in Blackwater and Mr. Morgan said well no I haven't you must have the wrong person he was lying for his teeth but still and then this man just took off I believe claiming that he was gonna tell people or something it was very strange uh, we chased him down and I made the decision to kill him which is um, regrettable because this was probably an innocent person but this brings me to one of the problems I've been having with this game so far. 
Because the main characters seem to be career criminals, they can't really have a morality system in this game. Like, how can you be a good career criminal? Um, so instead they have an honor system. And they seem... which, which seems to be trying to... Um, be a substitute for a morale system. So, do be nice and your honor goes up, be nasty, your honor goes down. But the problem I have with it is that it seems completely... Um, it seems to ignore uh, practical necessity completely. Like, assuming you have made the decision to live this type of life and you're not prepared to hand yourself in and, you know, be hung by the neck until you're dead, well, then you're going to have to make difficult decisions. And sometimes, yeah, like, perfectly innocent people will be a threat to the... the your life and the life of your loved ones, and they have to go. Like, I, there's a reason why you don't want your life to go down this sort of path, I would suggest. But being down this path, um, I don't feel we have much choice in some of the decisions. But the game seemed to look down on us, the player, killing that man, who was apparently going to tell everyone we were from Blackwater. Um... I could be misunderstanding, perhaps he wasn't going to tell everyone we're from Blackwater, but he seemed very insistent he'd seen us before, and then he took off at quite a pace, as though he was... I don't know, going to report it or something, it was strange. Anywho, that's where we are in the game, and we'd better get into it. So, since the last... The autosave slot already contains... Autosave exit pursued by a bruised ego saved on dum dee dum dee dum. Uh, that's a weird day. Oh, it's an American style day. I was trying to figure that out. How could it be the first of the twentieth? Or, you know, if they were doing it in the opposite order, um, how could the year be o one? But no, I see. So that was an autosave from Saturday. Uh, do you want to overwrite the data in this slot with your current game progress? Sure. I don't see anything... Uh, anything bad that will come of that. Uh, we seem to be moving quite slowly. I don't know why that is. Yeah, we look a bit worse for wear. Perhaps we need to eat something. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Moderate restores health and health core and dead eye core. Uh, we're still moving very slowly. Never mind. We'll live with it. Uh, so yes, one thing that I've decided since last time is we should probably make a priority of completing the missions. I think just wandering the wilderness, as interesting as it was, is probably not going to make for very compelling gameplay. Oh, there's Emerald Ranch. It wasn't Emerald City, it was Emerald Ranch. Uh, I mean, there's several quests here we could do, but why don't we pursue this one? No reason why we can't. So let's call our uh, faithful steed to us. Your horse won't follow you if you're in camp. Okay. I don't know why, but... Uh, is that our horse? Yes, that's our horse. Uh, why can we not mount our horse, or can we? Yes, we can. It just wasn't showing up as an option. Oh, I should remember the names of the characters here. Was that Annabelle? Anyway. Let me check, actually. I've got a list of characters. Character names, I should say. Do I know who that was? Because we did a quest involving her. Mm. 
Oh, could it be Miss Mary Beth? I don't know. It could have been several of them. I should have made better notes. Anywho, <clears throat> we'll worry about that later. For now, let's head out. Also, why do I not have the radar? I don't know. There we go. Now I do. Much better. Right, and we are heading east, aren't we? Yep, to get to Emerald Ranch. Right, we'll go that way, I guess. Uh, so we probably want the other path out. Not that it makes much difference. Oh, careful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not doing a very good job here, am I? Hold up. Uh, slow down. Okay. So if I head northeast from here, we should reach a crossroads. Yeah. In fact, that wagon's probably going along the path we're interested in. Probably should have checked the railway before I... Uh... Before I crossed, but never mind. Right, we're underway. Oh, this is where we were robbed before, wasn't it? Uh, I am sure I just heard gunfire. What's going on here, then? You there. Would you be interested in some friendly competition? Possibly. I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Might be. Uh, yeah, I'll accept. Hey, real gunslinger? Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just shoot! Perfecto. Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me, huh? Oh. Better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? How so? Come on. Could win real big, huh? All right. All right, let's do it. Aha, that's a good call, amigo. Okay, whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first wins. Simple enough? Stand near me. And as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Oh no, where's my rifle? Maybe I don't have my rifle out. Alright, this is going to be hard. This is going to be very hard. Try, but I thought <laughs> I did it. Time, huh? Listen, you need to pay me for your loss, okay? I thought with the Here. dead eye I did it. Lucky for you, I'm having a bad day. Mm, maybe we'll do this again, huh? Hasta la próxima, amigo. Huh. I gotta say, that was some fine shooting. Gracias, cowboy. Oh well. It is what it is. Oh wait, my dead eye is almost um, completely deplant. Uh, d 
depleted. Alright, let's keep going. I st still need to figure out how this dead eye works. It's still confusing me. That's a camp of some sort. How are we doing for ammo, actually? Can I tell? Actually, while I'm here... Right, I didn't have my rifle out. I wonder if I can change that somehow. Can I make it so that he always has it with him? Because you never know. Right. Only thing I don't like is I'm approaching from the low ground. Ideally, I want to be above them if I'm investigating. Right, what are we dealing with? There's people there. They're friendly or not, I don't know. I've discovered a stranger. They're marked with a question mark. Okay, they don't seem too hostile. Hello, William. Pleasure to meet you. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder. I didn't shave. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly. Nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You okay. can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. I might actually have some. Looking for my to-do list. Forgotten where that was. There. William. Yarrow. Red flowers. Direct sunlight. Noted. Give plants. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. I think that may be placebo. You've been helpful, thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. And it is. Save it for bad injuries. 
Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. Okay, Doug. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. All right, where's that horse? There she is. Okay there. Oof. Right, we're back on path. Or back on track, I should say. Back on path. Hmm. Did I go the wrong way? Yes, although this way will work. It'll just take slightly longer. Getting late. Yeah. Right, this is the turn, I think. I just noticed the horse was not having a good time. Poor Trigger. I'd still like to change her name if I can. I didn't realise she was um, she was a lady horse until after I named her. I did not kill that elk. That is an elk. Rotten deer. What am I detecting that's over that way? Oh, very nice moon. Oh, it's just a rabbit. Well, since we're here, hold on. Force weapons. I will take the bow. Oh, there it is. me seem to have scared off what I meant. Although, would that work? Did 
Don't think it did work. Your dead eye core is empty. You can sleep, smoke cigars, eat food, or drink coffee and alcohol to refill your dead eye core. Oh dear. There we go. That wasn't particularly impressive hunting. Oh blimey, you are tired. At least we've got some food. If we need to make camp, then uh, we'll have something to eat. Oh, I've got a tiny bit of dead eye back for that. Excuse me? What are you? found uh, cooking a carried animal will only reward you with meat compendium update oh the eastern wild turkey can be found in the forested or brushy regions of West Elizabeth New Hanover and Lemoyne as opportunistic omnivores, they can be found foraging for insects, seeds, and grasses. The easiest way to take down a bird of this size while hunting is by using a varmint rifle. Their feathers can be used for crafting, and their plump meat can be used as a source of food. <coughs> Noted. Let the other one go. There it is. I didn't mean to take the knife out then, but still. And while I'm here, I may as well take out one of the deer. I've learnt my lesson the hard way. Oh, by me. How did I miss that? No, I don't want to do dead eye. There we go. Oh, is that the ranch I was trying to get to? Oh, dear. Poor Mr. Morgan tires easily. Ah, calm down a bit. Excuse me? Well, that was surprising. The others weren't alerted, though. Don't get too close, I just want to get a shot in the head. Whew. Perfect dip out. Interesting. Right, 
was Trigger. Is Trigger. Right, let's make our way to the to the Emerald Ranch then. No, don't oh, drop it. Interesting, I don't know how you did that. Right, can you stow the perfect deer pelt? Yes. Excellent. Let's go. People, Seamus, and I work in the right way. We well, all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Look at me. Why would I lie about this? Just looking for somewhere to hitch the horse. Wait, do I not have my carbine repeater on me? No. Right, let's have a word then. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. Uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But mm. you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> cousin by marriage. Of Seamus. Right. Let's sit out then. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? All right. You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Still sore about that uh, bear encounter and not getting uh, that better, couldn't you? That's all you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. 
He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Assuming he's being entirely honest. Tapping left shift in time of your horse's gallop will stop its stamina from draining. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's huh. not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Interesting. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. Emerald Ranch. General. Store. Closed. But. Have. Money. Daughter became recluse. Oof. Tell you what, writing notes whilst uh, also paying attention to the game. Excuse me. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Yeah, writing notes whilst playing the game takes a bit of uh, a bit of focus. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. I'm not particularly interested in robbing these people, I don't see the point. I mean, okay to get money, but... Uh, hold tab to open weapons wheel and press R to view the items wheel. I suppose we're supposed to equip the binoculars. Wait, these are zooming binoculars? Did they even have that technology back then? I we could do it now. Sneak in, I'll get the coach. You can try the house, or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show, while you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Night. Let's do it now. All right. I reckon we're ready. I wonder Let's if the go. game devs actually... Made sure Maybe time won't advance. Windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Alright, I think the way to do this is approach the windows from a ways away using the binoculars. Right, how do I do that? Bring up the wheel. There we go. I mean, there's clearly fires, but that's not unusual. I mean, that's the only way you'd have to heat a house. I suppose it's slightly unusual to have fires downstairs at night when you'd expect people to be sleeping, though. Because, you know, wood. If they were using coal, then coal. 
That costs money. The outhouse, that's worth checking. Although, how do I check it? It obviously doesn't have windows by design. And if someone is in there... If someone is in there, I hardly want to just open the door on them. No one seems to be downstairs, but any money might be upstairs. Then again, I can assume there's people upstairs. It would be strange if the house were empty. No. No. Or does it? I don't know if I can just walk in the front door. I may have to go the back way. It's unlocked. Okay. Rob the house of forty-five dollars worth of items. Do what I can. See, we're doing this sort of this sort of thing, and don't forget, I, I was suggesting we not steal from the house. The game's decided that we definitely are. And yet they have this whole morality system. Which they call an honor system. There's nothing honourable in this. Right, as I feared, I'm gonna have to go upstairs. Oh no, maybe not. Taking apples and carrots. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go upstairs. Carefully. Very carefully. I see no daughter. There we go, now it presented with the option to search something. I was wondering why I couldn't search that chest there. Quietly. to go back down, I guess. Careful. 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 Whew. Okay. Not too bad. Just 
just a few more items. If we're lucky. Just having a quick look at those family pictures. If we're lucky, we can get those items back here. could leave now but at this point there's not much more risk everything I can. For some reason I couldn't take the whiskey even though I wanted to. Perhaps I've got so much whiskey in my inventory that I'm not allowed to or something. Could that be it? Where would the whiskey be? What's it technically classed as? Kentucky Bourbon. take this one now? No, I can't. Never mind, I did what I could. I think it's time to just leave. Right. Ooh. Yeah, dear boy. Very well set up. Beautiful, even. Come on. Get on and let's head back. What are we doing about the horses, though? We parked our horses up uh, not far from here. Just waiting on you, Arthur. I'm trying to get on. Is that how I do it? Yes. Return the stagecoach to Emerald Ranch. This is the first time we've... No. Is this the first time we've ridden a stagecoach? Yes, I think it is. We've had a, we've ridden a wagon before. So I don't know why we're going so slow. Aha! Because the controls are different. Okay, that makes... Oh, not that different, actually. No, I was just being silly. Still. Back to... Emerald Ranch. Problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. Yeah, I was wondering about that. They said get it back to Seamus in one piece. Ooh. Slow down. You'll, you'll burn out the horse. Yeah, I was just thinking, well, if I ride, right if I ride badly, how this likely am I to damage the? We are. How lucky am I to damage the stagecoach? Alright, alright. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Exactly. Oh, so, it's Jose, around? Jose Matthews then? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. 
I can't help but notice we abandoned the horses. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. There we go. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches at me selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Uh, I probably will, yes. Oh, the horses are, are um, miraculously sure. here. This is fast travel, looks like it. That was weird. What just happened to that lady? She didn't sound entirely happy, did she? Now I still need to work out what I can do with animal pelts. I know notionally take them to a trapper, but I've yet to find a trapper in the game. At least I've yet to identify someone as a trapper. You can now sell stolen wagons to Seamus at the wagon fence uh, in Emerald Ranch. Wonderful. Right now, I'll tell you one thing we should definitely be should definitely do, and that's shave. Uh, is this where we shave? Looks like it. Uh, chin. There we go. Uh, how do I confirm? Wonderful. Isn't that a handsome man? Oh, blimey. Right, so what are we going to do next? There's a few quests around here that we can do. Is that K for Karen? Who would LS be? Oh no, is that that man, that uh, Driscoll, oh Driscoll that we captured ages ago? Please, come on, you brought me in, help me! Yeah, we probably should do something about that, I'm pretty sure he's been without food and water for several days at this point. Threaten or antagonize, those are my options. Help me, speak to them for me. Not a great choice, is it? Hmm. I don't think he's gonna particularly be interested. When's this going to end? I mean, the game's acting as though there's some sort of quest here, so far as I can tell. So I guess I have to do one of these. Speak! Don't cry, boy. Speak! About your gang. Ah. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld here. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness, this got very dark. Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just 
that's gonna cause you trouble. <laughs> you know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you kidding me, right? The Romans didn't go in for that. Well, not in that way. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas all. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Fly me. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Are you sure as shit was? John, Bill, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respect. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Yeah, there were eunuchs in the Roman Empire, but the Romans themselves supposedly looked down on it. Um, looked down on the practice. Um, as far as I'm aware, they never uh, got into the practice of having eunuchs, eunuchs in the court. You got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them. And I'm doing you the further courtesy of That was more of an about. Eastern thing. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. You didn't tell me what the old Driscoll smelled like before you asked me to ride with him. That's because you wasn't asked to ride with us. You was told. Well, I smell like a stall ain't been cleaned out in a month. I smell like that because you had me tied up there about as long. You'd be smelling worse if we'd done what some was arguing for. Granted. Granted. I was in with a bad lot. I'm trying to make amends. If I can. You don't know the half. I do know Combe killed Dutch's sweetheart. And that's the man you chose to ride with. A woman killer. Well, it was after he killed his brother. And the way I understood it, the... Uh... Making excuses for the man. And his crimes. What kind of trap you leading us into, boy? I ain't. I'm trying to help. Honest. One thing goes wrong. One thing other than you smelling funny, you're the first O'Driscoll will shoot. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the O'Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law, nature. You're out for yourselves. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. 
We're out to live. Free. Combs a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, oh, it was Dutch, not Davy. I said Davy at the when start of the stream. You ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. That's just a reminder, a reminder for the player. Now look, a tree's fallen in such a way that it would make an ideal place to leave your horse. Although none of them are doing so. Fair enough. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? Oh, so for some reason I. I said easy. For some reason, uh, Mr. Morgan did take all his uh, weapons off this Follow time. Me, all right, it ain't. We might have shared a horse. There we go. We ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Come on. Okay, get down. The cabin's in the cleaner down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yep. And call him O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. But oh, blind man. Out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually going to shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm, yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. He's yours, Williamson. Okay. I got him. We're here. We don't need nothing else from you. <sighs> now stay here. Don't you damn move. They're doing a mighty fine job, aren't they? The bow will be quieter if I do need to use it. Wait, are those two moving up or are they waiting for me? I think they're waiting for me. I was assuming I'd stay here to keep an eye on this individual. I don't really trust him not to bolt or to warn them. Another gunfight and cold. Nowhere to be seen. Did I do something wrong there? We move quick. We move hard. We catch you on a wires. Come at me, you Irish bastards. They know I let you here. It's danger list full. Alright, where's the rifle? Ow. Let's make a stand. This is quite a hideout. Let's go down. 
Ow! Okay, I need to get under some sort of cover. one of them over there. Let's get the revolver out and move in. Don't think he knows I'm here. Oh damn, well he knows now. Yeah, I generally don't know if I failed that mission because I did did something wrong or if this is the way it was always going to be. Oh dear. We're being flanked. Oh, goodness, that was an enemy. Leave him. Calm's still here. Hey, he said Calm's being cabin. I'll check. Oh, did he run? Is that what he meant by, um... Leave him. Is that Calm? It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. Get lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. Yeah, right you are. Okie doke. Just add Kieran to the list of people. Should have added him a while ago. Actually, maybe I did. Anyway. Unfortunately, the list of people is now multiple pages long, so... Drop carbine repeater for double-barreled shotgun. Ooh. I wouldn't mind a double-barreled shotgun, but they do, they do do different things. Uh, but he said there'd be money in the chimney. That's why I came came over there. We'll worry about the double-barreled shotgun in a second. I think the double-barreled shotgun's a mistake, actually, as much as uh, all those years of playing Doom have, uh, have conditioned me to think otherwise.
Actually, if I call my horse over here, can I just stash the rifle? Let's do that. I'll wait for my horse to arrive and carry on searching in the meanwhile. Yeah, still no option to search the chimney. Bit strange. Search the nightstand. I notice you're not reading either of the books or even checking to see what they are, because one of them could, for example, be a diary. Right, trigger should be outside. Let's just stash our carbine quickly. Uh, how do I do that? Like so. And I will have that double barreled shotgun. That was, <laughs> that was very enthusiastic the way we ran in just then. Well, hey! Compendium updated. D&D &D and Packenbush's double barreled shotgun is the Trailblazer's choice. Powerful and deadly at close range, the gun is capable of firing off two shots in quick succession, dropping nearly any target instantly. This gun has an ammo capacity of two rounds and can use regular buckshot, incendiary buckshot, slug and explosive slug shotgun ammo. Did they really have incendiary and explosive shotgun ammo in 1899? I'm not sure they did. Uh, yeah, I think I'll also, wait, why can't I move? Cleaning weapons with gun oil, something, something, something. First tab to open weapons will maintain the double barrel shotgun with middle click. Oh, this is new. View, zoom, aim, clean. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, so is the bits that are still grey, are those like potential the gun has if I did something to it to improve it? I wonder. Search the chimney. Oh, okay, so the game was... Um, I can't search the chimney until I had the double barreled shotgun. So essentially the game was forcing me to take a double barreled shotgun at this point. Which I'm not complaining about. Still. Double barreled shotgun stowed. Let's search that chimney. Something tucked away. What? Six hundred dollars back then. That's a small fortune. Oh, your share one hundred. But even so, uh, paying a social call under the threat of torture, Kieran leads Arthur, John, and Bill out to Six Point Cabin, where he claims Carm O'Driscoll is holed up. So silently kill four O'Driscolls. So I should have been able to silently kill them. I wonder what I should have done differently. Because I thought the plan was that the, that one of them, um, Bill I think it was, sneak up and kill the one that was uh, relieving himself against the tree. And then the two of them sneak up behind the other two and take those two out silently. And then I would move in. But that's not what happened. They took out the one next to the tree, but then just didn't do anything and so I then walked forward a little bit and then the other two saw me apparently even though I think I was sneaking at the time I don't know what I could have done differently I could have opened up but 
with two of them right next to each other, even if I'd used the bow for a silent takedown, the other one would have immediately seen. I just don't know how I could have resolved that situation without alerting all the O'Driscolls, unless I had cooperation and support from the other two. Very strange. Get 12 headshots, that didn't happen, complete with at least 8% accuracy. Pfft. Okay, I did not do very well, did I? Anywho. Uh, I may as well search the bodies since we're here and then we'll head back to camp, I guess. Seems like a plan. I was going to say, when we took this mission, they said that Carl and O'Driscoll would be here. Like, really? Is this early in the game we resolved the O'Driscoll situation? That seems unlikely. And of course, it, that, that's not what happened at all. Wanted crime reported. What? What crime? Who reported what crime? I mean, there was the attack on the Adriscals, of course, but I don't know why the game would suddenly be prompting me about it now when it wasn't before. Oh, I don't see any of the other bodies. They must have despawned. Oh, well. Unknown suspect. I have no idea what this is about. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like there's somebody moving in on the position. Someone quite hostile. Probably sheriffs. Yep, they're moving in. Hopefully Trigger can get to me. <laughs> Investigating. Oh, maybe it was the O'Driscoll incident. Goodbye. I don't know who thought they saw what. Uh, right, are we better off following the roads? Are we better off going cross country? Uh, roads seem fine. So let's do that. Need to be careful here. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Hey! I don't know why they shouted out hey, but still. Oh, this is Valentine. I'll tell you what. This would actually be a really good opportunity to see if we can find someone that will buy the deer pelt off of us. Or do something with it. Yeah, it is still on the back of the horse. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, and there's someone I don't know down that way. Uh, trouble is, I don't know what all these markers mean. I could only guess. That looks like a butcher, maybe. Is that a bed for the night? Stables? Bank, maybe? Saloon and haircut? That could be interesting. I could see if barbers will do anything which others, uh, which I can't just do shaving normally. Uh, in fact, why would you bother having them in the game if they couldn't? Uh, doctors, maybe? No idea what that is. Oh, that's probably for bounties. I'll tell you what, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, maybe that could be a shop. Maybe I could sell the pelt there. Uh, I don't know what those two are going to be. Gun shop and something? A scribe, maybe? 
Is that a saloon? Huh. Well, nothing that stands out to me is obviously being a trapper. Let's find out what this mystery thing is, and then perhaps we'll stop by the barbers. Give a fella a nickel. Give me a dime. Give me something. Hey, buddy. Oh, do you need to soldier? To get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Oh no, Confederate, I think. What do you mean by friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Are you gonna try and pickpocket me? Also, what's that bar okay, across the screen? Quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Well, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. <sighs> hmm. Well, hopefully I wasn't just pickpocketed. I did notice that my honour went up then. But again, I would question what is honourable about what I just did. They're just making, they're just using the honour system as a substitute for a morality system in a game where you're a career criminal. What really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history, done and dusted. The dead got off lucky, the living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Interesting. Funny thing about pigs' penises. They're curly, like their tails. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> this isn't going very well. So is this some sort of historian or journalist that's trying to get a story about a man's uh, life? He passed out. Of course he passed out. Who's your friend there? This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay, and forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot him. I 
can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my <laughs> head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Inspect the photographs for details on the gunslinger's location. Hey. Hey, right, find Plato's legends. That's on the to-do list. Oh, that was interesting. Hello. To the barbers. Time to uh, possibly spend some of that well-earned money. Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful now. That could have gone badly. Right, so what are the choices? Facial hair, trim, full styles, clean shaven, the English. They weren't Christians, so I sent them to hell. Maltese, Burnside, Soap Saviour, Goatee, Lack of Mutton, Pennant, Apron. Yeah, the no Spartan. West no more around here. Ain't nothing. Spartan's not bad, is it? More goddamn America. More goddamn shots. More goddamn huh. prissy women in men's clothing. And if I go back, and women in women's clothing, thinking they must be men. My old Bessie. Well, my spot's right here. Need a haircut? Pomade. Left parted. Y'all make a fella sick. Left parted fade. Middle parted. Right parted. Swept back. Buzzed. What's wrong with you, fool? Well, look at y'all. Look at you. How could it be buzzed? They don't have clippers. You need a haircut yeah, more than a drink, I reckon. Let's have buzzed. You ain't even women. You're, you're something else. You're revolting. <laughs> I'm revolted. I'm tempted to gouge my eyes out just for the fact that they saw you. Ah, now his hair's short or the picador doesn't look so bad. Bars right over there if you need a drink. Oh, God, I can't believe what this dump is hmm. coming to. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Next thing he could do if it's just a wash. Just give it a rest, John. Where would he go to just have a wash? This appears to be the... Ah, maybe the hotel? And where would he get more clothes if that's a thing? I desperately need a wash. <laughs> bath rent. Bath. I need a wash. Got a bath. For that is what this country needs to help each other. Head down the corridor there. Ooh, what an experience. A first bath in this game.
I expect they probably didn't actually bathe that much. Um, in the Old West. They probably just had, um, had washes using uh, a nightstand and a basin of water and a flannel or something like that. Which can get you perfectly clean, you know, if, 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 um, if you know what you're doing, you can do a perfectly good job with just that. Like one bowl of water, warm water for soap, and then like one non-soapy bowl for, uh, uh, cleaning the soap off you once you've, you've done. Wow, isn't this an immersive game? I've got to say, Mr. Morgan's actually, from what I can see, is quite a nice physique. He's reasonably well muscled and not, uh... How'd you like some help in here? Excuse me? Uh, no thank you. I'm alright, thanks. Oh, sure, no problem. Trying to tempt me to sin. <laughs> this game. What am I doing? I mean, washing clearly. I just wasn't expecting quite such the... Um, quite such the involved process. Your stamina has increased, blimey. Yeah, he's, he's reasonably lean, isn't he? Looking a bit sharper, isn't he? Rooms are quiet and clean. That's a point I've just realised. You know what is definitely missing, so far as I can tell? A church! They absolutely, 100% would have a church here. Or a chapel, at least. That we receive the true gifts of life that are eternal. <laughs> so give generously. For that Careful there. Cloth linen. Does that include clothes? Hello? Are you speaking to me? Oh, I don't think so. I knew you'd be back. Have a look around. Ooh. Maybe I can sell you the um the pelt. Let's give it a go. Thank you for your help. Mister. Here comes Trigger. Oh, there's the church. Oh, we should give it a visit. Before we leave. Uh, wonderful. Trigger just, um... Did something in the street. Uh, right. How do I take this off? Is it horse cargo? Yes. Uh, but how do I actually take it? I don't want to discard, I want to pick it up. I'm confused. I really don't think it's going to be discard. I don't know how else I'd remove it. Hey, 
Feed lead pat flee. What does flee do? Would I just tell trigger to leave without me? I am so confused by this. Huh. Yep, it's just been deleted from the world. That's a shame. Oops, I'm very lucky that didn't go much worse. Oh, well, goodbye, perfect deer pelt. Forget to buy something? Looking for cloves if you have them. Not seeing any though. Hmm. Fella come in here yesterday says the sheriff been seen with Moira again. Interesting. I've no idea who that is. So. All right then. Let's have a look. I wonder if that would have included. The stuff on my horse. Browse catalog. Get you anything in there you need. Provisions, tonics, ammunition, hunting and fishing, horse care, clothing. Outfits. What we got? Ooh, they've made quite a lot of um, copyright just for this, haven't they? A prominent feature in our clothing department is this smartly assembled outfit suitable for taciturn labourers engaged in colder weather livestock work. Uh, how do I keep going though? Like, I assume there's more than one page of this. Oh. Page down? Uh, the Valentine? More like it. Uh, sell out of that pretty fast. All garments are guaranteed exactly as represented. We present you the leading style in both work and leisure wear today. Does look a lot more like it, doesn't it? The Claremont. Oh, named after the hard living Midwestern town, custom tailored apparel of distinction. I think I prefer that. For the rough hewn who wear. You like the look of that one, huh? Chapo yells indoors? I'm not sure what that is or how you'd pronounce it. Just gonna look that up. Uh, Chapa Rayols, possibly. I get all kinds of coots come in here. That's something. Uh, chaps, item of clothing. But of course, doesn't give me pronunciation help. Protective leather leggings attached at the Got waist. Some new things in the other ding. Oh, I see. Short for American Spanish Chaparreras or Chaparreros, related to Chaparreros. Used to hack up Citadel Aren't Rock those? all the time mm. when I was younger. Anyway, Just don't yes. Have the energy no more. So it's Spanish American. It's leather, um, leather protection for your legs. 
you know, in addition to your, um, in addition to your, um, trousers and boots. Which I don't see depicted there, which is a bit strange. Daughter at Emerald Ranch don't leave the house no more. Been locked in up there for a couple of years now. Those go pretty fast. Right, these are all just hats. Right, tell me about this one. That's mighty popular these days. Custom tailored apparel to distinction, superb quality, to alleviate the grinding fatigue of working in dirty, humid, bustling cities and outposts such as Valentine. Or this custom made that, outfit, huh? sure to delight on days the mercury is in excess of 90 degrees. Uh, with a long frock coat, open neck union suit, and classic vest, it is completed by the patterned fancy pants, riding boots, and plantation hat for beating the rays of the sun. Is for the refined working gentleman who does not often make comparisons of a foe to a drawling invalid and only reaches into his quiver of vulgarities when absolutely necessary. A dapper demeanor is not only pleasing when conducting someday, business, is necessary in society in order Probably to regulate intercourse West. among people that so society could do without. Uh, the name gentleman designates one who is gentle, warm and peaceful, a value to society. What kind of outfit can be so charming that the mere act of wearing it causes such poetic re recollections? This one, dear Some reader, for I'm wearing it right now. Look at the illustration and you'll see a man story. captivated. He purchases this outfit to court her on a lazy summer day. His heart blazes at her hearth. Her smell a morning bouquet that lingers on his fingers still. I sell out of that pretty fast. It'll do for now. I'm sure we'll have better options in the future. Right there. That should be good. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh, blimey, we were in there a long time. Uh, let's head up to the church before we leave. Just poke our heads in for a bit. Valentine Church, Reverend Isaac Hampton. All welcome, prayer books provided. Let me add him to the list. Reverend Isaac Hampton. Okay. Early too late for that. Alright, let's head back to uh back to camp then. I have to check out the church next time. Arthur, Arthur, come lend a hand here. Go ahead and call your mama for all I care. Uh, take it easy, I got long bagel. <laughs> Should have thought about that earlier. Where is he? Oh. oh. You could have stepped in. I thought you had it covered. Just wait till you're old. I'll be at camp if you need me. Apologies, I wasn't fast enough. Come on, girl. May as well join you if we're headed, both heading back to camp. Dark, isn't it? Oh, wow. 
we probably want to ride a little faster. Mm, this may not have been the uh, smartest idea I've ever had. Why is there a body here? I saw it on the mini-map. Hold up. I'll investigate on foot. There's blood there. Oh my goodness. What on earth? Well, that's grim. Hmm, nothing I can do that I can tell. Right, let's keep going. Ironically, by the time I get to set camp, it won't be night anymore. Goodness me, the amount of time I spent purchasing this new outfit. the right way? I think so. Hey, who's there? Just me. It's me, Arthur. The hero returns. Indeed. Uh, just been to the barbers, and I imagine after this nap I'll need to shave again. Arthur. Evening. Rest. Over here? Is this where we sleep? Do we have our own bedroll or something? Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but... More enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there. Badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Uh, I'm not sure they went in for that over there. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. Mr. Robel. Chick Matthews. Uh, 
do I know where they are, though? That must be them. Yeah. Alright, uh, I guess we'll go across the river to start with. Don't know whether there's going to be a bridge though. And I don't know if it's going to be fordable. Alright, well we'll worry about that when we get to it. Right. Added them to my notes, are all debtors. I'd still like to find where we can sleep. Oh, I can click on these things to find out what they are then. Ah, okay. If he has a bed, I think it will be near the donate camp. What's the symbol? It's the money. Might as well put some money in. Right, where's the shaving thing? There's the shaving thing. I am convinced this is where we woke up. When we began this stream. It must have been here. So why am I not being given the option to sleep now? Oh, I know what might do it. Wasn't there a way we could through the items when you set up camp? Cannot set up camp while at the caravan. But how do I sleep? <laughs> That's all I want to do. Ah, this is how I do it. Uh, till morning, three hours. I'm sure he'll operate fine on three hours sleep. Oh, this is nice. New journal entry. Interesting. Wonder why there's a flower there. I mean, a uh, preserved flower. When it said examined flower, I thought it was on the ground or something. Uh, right, it said new journal entry, didn't it? So I have a journal, do I? How do I access that? 
Okay, I do, it would seem. Oh, black water. Interesting. Uh, Herr Strauss is back lending money, and I'm back collecting it. The work mostly revolts me and ashames me. Somehow robbing people honestly with a gun and fist is less repellent than robbing them fully in accordance with the law. It'll be the usual sort of desperados, sick farmers, pregnant maids, lovesick young men, and other dupes desperate enough and stupid enough to take Strauss's terms. And Ursula's life may be a comfort... <coughs> Excuse me. An Ursula's life may be a comfortable one, but it is a foul one. Right, do we need a shave? Or are we good? I think we might actually be good. We are. That's interesting. Can I not shorten the moustache? Because I clearly have a moustache. Or maybe because I selected the style from the barbers, that'll never change. I don't know, strange. Are you well? Hold up, if I look at this again... Yeah, I still don't get the option to choose styles or anything like that. Oh, that's how I'd do it. Why does that not show up under moustache, then? Huh. I don't understand how that's working. Because the only facial hair I can see that he has right now is a moustache. And yet, we can't change the moustache length. It's set to the minimum. But we can set the length for all our facial hair. But there's there's ten levels of all facial hair and only seven of of mustache. Strange. Oh well. Looks good enough for now. Let's keep going. So, where's our horse? Over there. Better start collecting for Air Strauss. Oh, I know this is L. Let's go, girl. Do we know Strauss's first name? No. Well, it begins with L, clearly. Right, where are we off to? We're off to the west. Why is there a question mark here? Why don't you sit, Arthur? Mary Beth. You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? The whole world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. This their rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so 
I guess we gotta pay for our sin. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just... I'm realistic about what's coming. But I... We can't kill an animal. Needlessly. I don't know. Do you? Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? <sighs> Ain't that the truth? Well, that was a nice little conversation, wasn't it? I can't even get onto the horse from there. The horse has just vanished, okay. Where is my horse? What? Right, I'm heading out to the north. That is the north exit from the camp. And from there, we then take a turn to the west. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, got this under control, I think. Here we go. Interesting. This wasn't the type of geography I was expecting. What would have caused this to form? These are, this is quite a significant ravine, but it's very small. Huh. Alright. I'll stop looking at the geography. Uh, so am I heading roughly the right way? Yes, roughly. I think I actually wanted to head out that way. Uh, but we'll meet up with that path if we go round there anyway. So that's fine. And then I'll be looking for a bridge. What? Did I just kill a bird? By riding into it. Oh, bird! Perfect cardinal carcass. Poor oh, cardinal! Whoa. There's something going on up there. I'm rather out of position. If I head up this way and I'll be in position, or at least I should be. That's a lot of gunfire. A rifle. I need the repeater rifle now. Right. I've made a poor decision.
Yes, go down. I think I got them in the end. I don't see a survivor. Did I just take out the survivor? Oh, maybe they did get away in the end. Oh dear. Maybe I shouldn't have got involved in that. I don't know who was who. I just saw several people ganging up on one and I assumed it was some sort of robbery. Just notice, seven are increased to seven, but the maximum is ten. I was assuming, like a lot of other games, like the Elder Scrolls game, this was out of a hundred, and you just start with a really low level and then work your way up. Um... You know, like a miscellaneous skill in Morrowind starting at 5 with a maximum of 100, but uh, perhaps not. Just one there was something lootable there which I didn't take. Gun oil, cover scent lotion. Oops. Okay, I can't take up any of those. Oh, I've got the fine brandy though. Right, probably time to move on. Continue of our mission. So the one thing one thing I should have definitely done differently there is I should have sought cover before I began the gunfight. I was thinking of doing that, but I was also worried that I wouldn't manage to Can I take their horses? No. I was worried that they'd kill whoever it was before I managed to um, find suitable cover, so I decided to open fire early, and it looks like I got the worst of both worlds. The person I was trying to save, I think, died, and I had a harder fight, and one of them got away, which would have been less likely had... Ow! Which would have been less likely had I been firing from a superior position. <laughs> oh, that really hurts. Oh, you've got to be joking. Oh, how embarrassing. 
maybe if they they're a horse that kicks, they'll always be a horse that kicks, and there's nothing you can do about it. I don't know. <sighs> All right, where are we on the map now? I was trying to see if I could calm the horse down, because sometimes you do get that option. Okay, I want to go directly south from here. But it didn't seem to be an option. Oh, is that what I was looking for? A bridge over the river? No. Down. Oh, I think there should be a path over here. Is that right? Is that dotted line of path? Looks like it. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, it does look affordable. I think I'll still go round though, so we can fill in that part of the map. What's going on here then? Hey mister, I just want to be left alone, alright? A sentiment I'm familiar with. Fair enough, kid. Gonna get a name? Oh, what's it matter? That's just gossip. I'm sure it won't have any. Uh, your horse is dirty. This will cause its health core to drain faster. Brush your horse or ride it through water to clean it. Yeah, it's just idle gossip. I don't think it's going to actually um, affect us at all. The fact that the, uh, the young lady that young lad is sweet on apparently isn't interested. Aha! Is this a crossing point? Yes, it looks like there's at least two crossing points. I'll go for the slightly lower one, I guess. Fill in more of the map. Here we go, first sight. Uh, Strauss. One of Strauss's debtors was last seen in this area. Search the area to find them and reclaim the debt. Uh, where is this? Painted Sky, does that say? Not quite sure what it says actually. That doesn't look like an S. Oh, that helps a bit. Ah, Chick Matthews is supposed to be here. Huh. 
Huh. Why is there a corpse there? That we know about. Anyway, so we're looking for Chick Matthews. Let's have a bit of a look. Wow, someone's probably indoors, given that smoke. We could certainly ask after them. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, I listen. Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, Herr, uh, uh, it's not Chick Matthews. Uh, 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 nah, I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold, Leopold. Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. Nye, nye. This is legal, is it? Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. God damn it! You have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up. Stop! Już nie mam siły. Nie, nie! No, 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 no! Please, no! I don't have money, but, but I have this. It's, it's good, it's good, it's valuable. It's, it's Warsawa, yes. I have your things, okay? I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Oh, this, this feels bad, doesn't it? I know this is right, we're effectively acting as a bailiff, but s still. Let me call the horse quickly. So I can just dump some items. Get it? How do I deposit items? I don't want to discard them. Maybe these are supposed to be on the horse. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Very valuable, good? Not good yet.
Oh, wow. The mirror. Works perfectly. That requires... That's not, um... As simple, graphically speaking, as you might think. This we recovered. That should about cover things. Return the debt to camp funds or recover another debt. I think we'll do the latter. I saw we got an antique watch there, the fine brandy and a silver earring. I didn't see what else. Uh, how do I leave? Down here, I think. Blimey, those must be wild horses. I'm tempted to try and capture that white one. If that's a thing in this game. I shouldn't be that spooked since I'm on a horse. I don't know why I lost control there. Perhaps I was supposed to keep holding down right click. Let's slow down a bit. There's no real reason for the horse to get spooked. I mean, if we come charging in, of course it'll spook it, because it might think it's a stampede or something. That, I think, is unlikely. I don't think a horse would normally do that. Not when there's another horse nearby. Could be wrong. does it. I saw that cheeky little fox. At least I could study the horse. Phew, that was scary. So I couldn't see what was on the other side of the hill. That was really quite steep.
thoroughbred. Yeah. Whoa. Tell me more about the thoroughbred. Thoroughbreds are racehorses, identifiable by their lean legs, athletic build, and deep, deep chest. The blood bay and dapple grey are found in the wild, while the brindle coat is purchasable. A unique seal brown coat is also discoverable. This breed is famous for its speed and agility. They can be clumsy if pushed too far. Uh, their good stamina and accelera acceleration make them perfect for racing short distances. How does that compare to my current horse? That was my first horse, wasn't it? So, speed two and a half, acceleration one and a half, approximately. Just outright better. No, not what I meant. It doesn't seem as spooked by us as it used to be. What I'd really like to do is lead the horse while I'm on a horse. And then perhaps deposit trigger at a stable or something. Oh, this is challenging. You'll be all right. Come on now, easy. Use X and use SF to steer in the opposite direction of the horse's movement to stay balanced. Elsa Tokyo, it's lovely to meet you. How are you? You've successfully broken the horse, but it will still have some wild tendencies. Continue to bond with it to make it more obedient. Right, is there a way I can lead a horse while riding a horse? Because there should be, but I don't know how I'd do that. If I get off, are you going to stay there? Yes. Right, what I probably want to do then is remove the saddle. There, girl. Uh, I'm from England. How about you? Let's get this on you, girl. Excellent. Uh, this is now your main horse. It is represented as the horse symbol on the radar. Wonderful. Right, I'm leading this horse. Now, am I allowed to mount the other horse while still leading? Because again, that is a real life thing. I should be allowed to do so.
uh, I play a lot of different games. Usually, at least in the last few months or so, I've usually only been streaming one game at a time. I continue streaming it until I've completed it, but yeah, quite a lot of different games. Uh, games I've done recently, I did uh, three adventure games. I did Shard Light, Primordia, and Techno Babylon, which were all very fun. Uh, what was I doing before that? I think before that I was probably doing Bug Fables, which is a Paper Mario-like RPG. Uh, do I remember what I was playing directly before that? I think before that I was doing Baldur's Gate 3. Um, and yeah, I've played many, many more games than just that. I suppose I haven't done that many retro games recently, although um, when I started this channel I was uh, doing a, a higher proportion of retro games, if I recall correctly. I'm going to look this up quickly. How does this actually work? Like, I don't want to abandon my old horse. What I'm trying to achieve, which is what you would do in real life, is you would ride one horse slowly whilst leading the other. That is like a thing you can do. Um, but it may be that the developers never implemented that and if I just ride away I'll still keep my old horse. I don't know. So. Red Dead Redemption 2. Horses. Uh, lead. Uh, what would I say? Horses. Do you keep your horse? Um, if you leave it. Uh, technically I do have an Instagram ID, although I don't use it. I use... Um, I use Meta Threads. Uh, that's one of my social media accounts, and that uses Instagram, the Instagram account to log in. Uh, but yeah, currently. Hold up. Oh, let me just type the, the command into chat. Oh, if, if it'll let me. There we go. It's having trouble getting focus away from the game. Uh, did that not work? No, that did work. Nightbot was just being slow. Yep, I have Discord. Uh, I came across the same dilemma a few times now. When I'm doing stuff and I find another horse I would like to keep sale, sometimes far away from where I left my main horse, I was always afraid that I would lose my horse if I just leave it where I parked it. So to ride back to it and tell it to follow me to the next stable, sell one and go back on mine. Uh, I have a similar question. If you were to jump to a train, if you were to jump to a train from a horse, will you lose the horse? Hmm. I've tamed a few wild horses now. I either ride the new one to the stable and tell my horse to follow me, whistle, or I ride my horse while the new horse is lassoed. I did not try to use the lasso. Leading a horse while sitting on another horse does not seem to work. Hmm. Uh, I don't follow you, Elsa. Oh, right. Uh, well, like I say, I, I don't... I'm not using... Instagram at present. No, I did not mean to pull that out. I meant to pull... Nope, not that. What's the lasso? 
Actually, let me check. Can I tell the horse just to follow? Was that an option that I just missed? Is that a thing? No, I can tell them to lead. Okay. If I get on the back of this horse and I whistle, will they follow? Let's get. You following? Oh, you seem to be. Let's see if this works a little. Uh, sorry? You seem a little upset, Elsa. Also, it's lovely to see you, Yisha. How are you tonight? Now oh, that is working. Right, so I guess I want to go to a stables, don't I? And the nearest stables is going to be Valentine. Uh, which we're actually quite close to, although we're heading in the exact opposite direction. Not quite sure what I said to upset Elsa, but uh, it's what it is. Yeah, I'm quite well, thank you. How are you doing? Still getting to grips with um, Red Dead Redemption, Redemption 2. Parts of it are starting to make more sense, and then there's other bits that I just don't know at all. Tired. Oh dear. Another long day? Where are we? Are we in Valentine? Yes. How do I close the index? There we go. Ah, we're technically in Valentine, but we're in, like, the other half of Valentine, the... The far side of the town, not the bit near all the things we're interested in. Uh, where's the stables? The stables is just up here, isn't it? Right, so I've not done this before. If I get on my old horse and I ride it into the stable, can I, like, leave it here? Is that a thing? If you lose your saddle, it will retrieve for you when entering the stables. I didn't lose my saddle, I left it on the other horse. Morgan. Stable. Oh, Morgan. Wait, what? Morgan is the breed of horse. I'd already named that horse Trigger. So what? I get to I I'm forced to rename the horse when I stable it. That seems odd. Maybe the game completely. Maybe when I moved the saddle from my old horse to the wild horse, the game forgot the name. Anyway, we did find out that Trigger was a female after I named her. Uh, so we'll call her Triggerette. For now. Oh, and there's my my first horse. Excellent. I wonder how many horses I'm allowed. Is it only four, or is that just I have three currently, and the game's asserting the fact that there's more space. Well, that seems to have worked. Uh, I guess I had intended to collect another debt today, but given how late it is, maybe it makes more sense if I go back to the camp uh, and then we pick up the debt the following day. It wasn't long really, but it's quite stormy here. After being minus 15, it is now plus 4 and very windy and rainy. So there's flooding in loads of places and worst of all, on roads and highways. Luckily it wasn't very slippy on the roads I took. Goodness me. Obviously, um, the weather where I am, am hasn't been quite so cold. Although, actually, 
on the coldest day recently, we yeah. might have reached minus four. Um, just. Uh, but yeah, we've also got storms. There's warnings on the news about, like, 90 mile an hour winds and stuff like that. Uh, I, I haven't seen much evidence of that in my area, though. But the country as a whole, yeah. Still, certainly sounds like adverse conditions to be driving in. Don't envy you there. the path down here. In most northern parts of Sweden they had as low as minus 50. Those we have this winter was about minus 25 or so. Oh my goodness. Oh minus 50. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, minus 50. That's like Arctic temperatures. There we go. The sort of temperatures where if somehow you ended up outside um, with skin exposed, then it would like freeze solid pretty, um, pretty quickly. <laughs> There's Arthur's bed. There's Arthur's bed. So, earlier on on this stream, I, I didn't even know where his bed was. So, I am slowly learning the game. How's our beard looking? Oh yep, yeah, we need to shave. Huh, our moustache hasn't grown. I wonder if it won't grow since I had it styled, or if it will and it just hasn't done so yet. What do you think of my, uh, my interp interpretation of Arthur Morgan, Yisha? Handsome fella or not? Oh wow. Foggy morning. Now where's that horse? It's not my horse, that's someone else's horse. There's my horse, my wonderful thoroughbred that I've uh, just oh, acquired. Yeah. Uh, which way am I going from here? Right, so just follow the road round. It's actually quite simple. That's alright, I can do simple. more attention to the road.
Interesting, there's a camp nearby. We should check that out. Do I have the carbine on me? Well, now I do. That was interesting. I got off the horse. I don't think I had the carbine, but I pressed the button to get the carbine out. And then, uh, Arthur Morgan grabbed it off the back of his horse. Whereas normally I'd have to go into the inventory to do it. I wonder if I press the relevant buttons when I'm next to the horse, if he just automatically takes... Uh, takes the weapons he needs. Right, what are we dealing with here? Alright. I'll leave. Just taking a look. Seeing if anyone needed any help. Or if there was any trouble. Let's get on. Is this the path we were following? Yeah. And we're most of the way there already. That's not good at all. Mister, please, please help. Please. I was worried it might be a trap, but I don't think anyone would put no, themselves oh, no. under a horse. Please hurry. She's very lucky she's not got a broken bone. Well, aren't you going to help? I am. been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. It's selfish of me to ask, I know, but would you mind taking me home? Not sure if my leg will get me there. That's understandable. Sure. Be happy to. Really? Thank you so much. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Now let's hope we're going back the way we came then. Alrighty. travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. 
He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in Ooh. a long while, sir. Caster's Ridge. Morning. We're close uh, now. I Just a little wait. further. The hell's your problem? I'm just riding my horse. I don't have an issue. I didn't ride into you. I actually, I deliberately avoided you. No. Here, thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. Not so sure about that. Appreciate it. You be well. She gave me a silver ring with all the difficulties she's having. No, she should have that back. Ma'am, will you be all right from here? I'll find my way. Thank you, sir. Hey, get moving. Hey there. How you do? Well, since we're here during the day, we may as well check out that church. Strange. I wonder, is there a way we can tell what the date is? I, I know we figured out roughly when it was. I think it, when we were in the mountains it was May 1899. But I mean exactly. I wonder, does that show up anywhere? Hmm... He's actually pretty good at sketching, Arthur Morgan. No, you don't break the door, <laughs> the church door down. Okay. Guess we can't go in there. At least not right now. I'm not convinced the whole thing about if you um, wrap it, if you keep pressing the left shift in time to your horse's beating hooves, they won't get fatigued. I'm not convinced that actually works that way. I think what might be happening here is that it's just that I'm alternating sprint on and off and that's more efficient. Could be wrong. Oh, I seem to have made a wrong turn. No matter, we can correct that just a little farther down. In fact, I think we're going to end up taking the same way that we originally did from camp. If I'm not mistaken. Is this where I needed to be? Yeah. And then we just turn up this way. Yeah, this looks right. Look who we found. What? Oh no. No, this is a I'm not fighting, this would be foolish. Alright, if I have to, then I need to get behind cover. Ow. This is a good point. Ow. Mind, sir.
Well, I gave it a good go. This game is so harsh to people that aren't good at FPS. My horse still there? My horse is still there. Need you now, girl. I don't know what I could have done that would have made that go better, though. That would have um, improved the outcome, because yeah. I suddenly found myself completely outnumbered by men on horseback. I couldn't outrun them. They had numbers on me. They had the initiative. I suppose if I'd noticed they were coming sooner, then I could have... Instead of running, instead of going through the the ravine where they were, instead I could have. Um, Someone show kindness. Oh my goodness! A man with no what can I do for you, sir? A blind man. Take this. You are not who you think you are, sir. Which is lucky. Uh huh. Uh, sure. Okay, mister. <laughs> All the best now. Please, Let's go, I need girl. to be alone with my thoughts now. Okay, you've had my money and now you want to be alone. Fair enough. Right, which one are we going for next? Ah, now we have a problem. Hmm, what are we going to do about the female debtor? I'm not convinced Arthur Morgan would beat her. But if she's uncooperative, that's going to be a problem. You chick, Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shot. <laughs> Damn it! Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Yeah. Yeah. Got eyes on him. Yeah. Good thing I'm on this thoroughbred. That would have been a real problem otherwise. Although, it can't. There is, it can't. The horse can't go fast for that long, that's the problem. is starting to struggle. You don't want to get me angry, boy. How are you still there? Gonna have to risk it. Tell you where it is. You're in no place to bargain, boy. 
save me. Just untie me, I'll tell you. Goddamn treasure hunt? You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. If something should happen to me, my something If something should happen to me, my worldly possessions are stored here. Hmm. You got the map. Do the decent thing. I'm not sure a treasure map is worth it. Right, here's what we're gonna do. You're going on the back of my horse. We're going back to Herr Strauss, and he can decide what to do with you. Look at the floor for a bit. Let's go, girl. We'll deal with the next debtor, the other debtor next, um, after we've been back. We'll do a bit of cross-country, I think. Hmm. Let's be careful. Oh wow. Bison. There's no point. I'd need the, the rifle to stand a chance. We'll be back. I'm not allowed to skin it? There we go. Big old animal. That would make a few meals, wouldn't it? Someone had to draw and animate all this. Um, what, what's the betting that I won't be able to put this on the back with the man? Still, we've got some prime beef from it. Yeah, I'd have to replace Matthews. Oh, what a pity. Uh, have they been added to the compendium, though? How do I check that? Progress. Compendium. Animals. American bison. The American bison is native to the plains of New Hanover and West Elizabeth. As a herbivore, it grazes on grains, hay, and corn. Due to the size of an average bison, high powered weapons like a Carcano rifle or a bow with improved arrows should also be considered when hunting. Prime beef can be used for cooking. I'm starting to see what. Um, what Mr. Morgan meant when he was speaking to Mary Beth and he said about he keeps killing animals for no reason. Although I would argue that wasn't for no reason. We got meat out of it. Meat we can cook and eat. Prime beef. But I will also concede that I just saw a bison and uh, felt the need to take the uh, opportunity to try hunting one.
this the way? Yeah. I'm going to take the side path. This is for Herr Strauss. Go on, get out of here. You find it there. Everything. I'll find it. Well, this is real uncharacteristic. I'll find it. Done. I think he's got away. I'm not shooting him. I don't know. I might actually be faster than him. Or not. Look at him go. I was hoping the horse would catch up. A horse is out of whistling range. While out of range, it will be shown as a darker horse symbol. You must get closer in order to be able to call it. Oh dear. I think I am actually catching up. I'm surprised my stamina's held, to be honest. Where he's going? I'm starting to doubt whether I'm faster actually. Are we struggling a bit? I knew I shouldn't have borrowed. No. Come on. There we go. Why the lack of options? Shouldn't I be able to do something from here? Seems like I can't really do anything. Oops. Huh. He... No, he's alive. He 
He's not acting very alive, is he? Ah. No, he must be alive. He must be unconscious. I don't fancy dragging him back. That would be pretty mean. Damn. Nope, not what I meant to do. Hmm. I don't even know how to cut him free if I wanted to. I don't seem to have the option of picking him up. Maybe that's it. Maybe I just get the treasure map. Oh well. Guess we've got a long run back. Yeah, bit um, bit disappointed there. I'm not entirely. It wasn't clear to me that we'd done everything we could when we got the treasure map off him, but when I tried to pursue other options, the game just didn't support it. Oh well. Still, suppose we may as well collect the other debt then. Was that? Was that an old dead? Yeah, tree trunk. Huh. Rotten out from the middle, it would seem. Ah, my horse is here, is it? Yes. Oh, blimey. Sorry about that. Right, so, final debtor. This must be the lady debtor. Not looking forward to this one. Well, I wouldn't say I was looking forward to any of them, but this one I'm particularly concerned about. Lily Millet is her name. Keeping a close eye out in case we're going to be ambushed again.
Oh, interesting. I wonder if there's always bison around here. Huh. Alright. This may not have been the most efficient path. Nice skybox. A bit blurry, but nice. Is this the turn we want? Yes. Hello there. This way, I think. Or not? Okay, this is getting a bit silly. <laughs> yeah. Alright, is this... Yeah. Let's just follow this trail. I don't know what it represents. Since there's clearly no path here. Careful now. Ow. Damn it. Alright, girl. Revive or kill. You're gonna be alright. Thank goodness I got that horse reviver of the old man. Is his name William? Or have I made that up? Once bitten, twice as shy as they say. Oh, it's directly north of here. I'm not sure this is the same quest. This is, seems like a very strange place for a debtor to be. Oh, this is the treasure map. Got it. Search the highlighted area to find the debt. Use the treasure map to help identify a location. 
Okay. I get it now. And that's why it was so far in the middle of nowhere. How do I access the treasure map now? Ah. So it's a hole in a tree. If something should happen to me, my worldly possessions are stored here. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, is the game going to just tell me exactly where it is? Yes. Yeah, that's successfully recovered. Well, now I feel even worse for the way we treated him. So we told him he could go, which I had no no real part in. I, that was forced on me. And then we chased him down, tied him up, knocked him out, and left him unconscious tied up by the side of the road. And we still recovered the debt. Poor man. Gonna get there before night now. Which may make recovering the debt difficult. Oh dear, we hit something. Goodness, the horse saw that and jumped. I'm heading the wrong way, aren't I? I'm heading back to camp. Whoopsie. I think I might, may have just seen the place. I saw a roof in the distance that was in about the right position. Over there. I'm sorry, pushed you a bit hard. Your horse's terminal is empty. This will begin to refill if you get off your horse and allow it to rest. Or lead it on foot using the reins. I will get to have a rest in a second. You do have to be careful about horses. I understand that if you, you can push them so hard in real life that they will just just stop, sit down and die. Like, as in, it's easy to do that unintentionally if you push them too hard. They don't seem to just... gotta be such a goddamn performance with you. Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's gotta be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Now lay off it, Lily. God damn it. Lily? Lily? Where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. 
I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. Bitch. Oh, I didn't mean to kill him. Every dollar I had, I gave to him. Some. You can take it off of his dead body, you son of a bitch. Yep, this has been a rather. Hey, you know what I'd do to thieves? Law here about this. I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it! Ain't my concern, no sir. I don't care. Is what I did was legal. Well, on, actually, it was legal because it was so. Well, you could uh, you could quibble about whether I needed to kill him. Um, but he attacked me. I didn't attack him. I suppose. Actually, I suppose the argument for robbery is that. Um. Why was I taking money off his body to pay off her debt just because she said that I could? The presumption would be that any money on him belonged to him. But I mean... I'm not particularly worried. Bounty? But your crimes won't be forgotten. If you're spotted by lawmen in the red area, you'll become wanted again. What? If, if the lawmen have a problem with me, they can take it up with me. I know what I did was... I would argue what I did was well within the bounds of the law. Lawmen have posted a bounty ahead. Avoid them or pay off your bounty at a post office. Why should I pay off a bounty? I've not done anything wrong. I would argue. Bounty hunters remember crimes you've committed in their state. Pay for your bounty at a post office. That's a camp. I'd have thought a lot of people would, people that are looking for a camp for the night. Oh, the crossing point's over there. Yeah. Who goes there? 
Where are you? I don't see you. Oh, there you are. Hey, Bill. Did you find much in the O'Driscoll's cabin? We did all right out of it. Just no comb. Oh dear. Yeah. There we go. Why is the donation thing flashing? Oh, highlighted. Oh, you'll retrieve a cut of each recovered debt you return, I see. So I assume that means we finish that quest. Where's the bed? There's the bed. First bank robbery newspaper scrap. Is this not the right bed? Why can't I rest here? It must be the right bed. I don't get it. Why no rest? an exclamation mark back here. Return the ledger. I didn't know I had the ledger. Maybe that's why I couldn't rest. I didn't have the ledger. Uh, Rest the next page to view camp upgrades. Uh, Strauss's medicine wagon increased total supplies include snake oil to restore dead eye and bitters to restore stamina. Oh I see, so that's why we contribute to camp funds. Uh Pearson's provisions wagon increases total provisions, adds fresh fruit and basic canned goods. Uh increases armory supplies, adds repeater ammo and ammo and arrows. Uh, lodging. Wait back a bit. Lodging. Upgrade Dutch's lodging. Encourages others to donate. Huh. Horse station. Buy a horse station. A place to retrieve horses from the stables or recall your main horse to camp. Uh, chicken coop. Buy a chicken coop for camp and then add nutrition to all camp stews. Dead eye boost when consuming stew. Leather working tools. If you get Pearson better tools, he can make extra gear. Buy some leather working tools for Pearson. Gain access to extra crafting options. Huh. Well, there you go. Does this come out of camp funds? If so, I might as well get some of these. Huh. 
How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, hmm. I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Did that work? I think so. I think it used all the camp funds and some of our personal funds to do it. Arthur wants a map to help plan journeys. And we can rest. Wait, is it morning already? It's morning already, no rest for Arthur. Oh dear. You could do with a bath. Alright, time to head out. Arthur. Hello? Was that you, Dutch? Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet. But Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch. Uh -huh. Arthur. Uh, what's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I'm giving that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Blimey. Off we go, then. Whoa! I don't like my visibility. If this is supposed to be morning, why does it still look like night? Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain in this. Sorry. Mike's got a crazy side off it. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was you worry too much, kid. Just just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. 
And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Man, he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get them? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down, then head back, okay? The strawberries okay. the dry town. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Well, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. Here we are. Go to the bar. Ugh, I kind of want to go to the post office and pay off that bounty that I shouldn't have. Just out of practicality, I don't think... I think it's... I think sticking to my principles here and not paying off the bounty is too likely to... Um, to just not be worth it. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple of beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored with being left alone. Listen, buddy, you're a charming fellow, one of the best, but me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> Just one or two drinks. Oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Stranger. Oh dear. See him anywhere. I hope Tom has not grabbed him. Not that he knows who Lenny is, but no, why would he do that? He would just if he was gonna cause trouble he'd just attack Arthur. Uh, ask the bartender if he's seen Lenny, that's a sensible thing to do. Okay. Which way? I don't know. There was a man coming down the other way, so try this way, I guess. Hmm. Can't find my friend. You know where we went? I've no idea. A description would have helped there, Arthur. Please, please. What are you doing, kid? Hello, Arthur. 
There he is. I thought it might be him from a distance, but it's hard to see. Drinking more. Welcome back, Jenny. He may have drunken a bit too much. That was a bit weird. Oh dear. Where is this? Oh, we're still here then. Still at the uh, saloon. This has got very weird all of a sudden. I think I remember what he was wearing. Fancy-ish clothes for a call. I mean, not that fancy, but compared to what most people were wearing. Didn't he have a red cravat? That what he was wearing? That's no red cravat, but it is a red waistcoat. Which I could having not made a note of what his clothes were at the time. That's plausible. Certainly didn't have a pipe. I think that's most likely to be him. Should have made a much better note of what he was wearing. My best second guess. There you are, Lenny. I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Hmm. Where is he? Not quite what I remember him wearing, but. There we go, that's the red cravat. Orangish, really. Oh, it's not a cravat, is it? It's just a bit. Again. 
Just like a bit of cloth he's tied around his neck. I'm not drowning him. That's fair. This has gone very badly. No, I don't think so. Is that a dead horse? Nope, nope, that's us. <laughs> Mission successful. Can't help but notice our hands clipping through our, our jacket. Mission complete. A quiet time. I still only got bronze. What could I have done to improve that? Try to make amends with an old rival. Catch Lenny in the act. Oh, that's what he was doing. Try to make amends with an old rival. Was I supposed to not dunk him the second time? Because the first time I had no choice. Oh wow, look at the way the light passes through his ear. Where's that horse got to? Hmm. Could that be the next mission? The Mika one? Oh well, I guess we're going back on foot. I notice our stamina is regenerating really, really slowly. Do I need to eat something to fix that? Yes, it would seem so. Perhaps that's what the core thing is about. Because we keep getting told about your stamina core has been drained, etc, etc. Maybe that determines the rate at which things recover? Maybe. Who's that? Oh, look at this. You made it back all right then. Just 
just not talking to me? Nope, guess he's ignoring me. Alrighty then. Not again. Where is my horse? That horse. Where is my horse? Oh, it's up in. It's still in Valentine. Urgh. All right. Guess I'm walking there. I don't see another way around this. What's the fastest way there? North. Yeah, just north. Still reading. Do I need to shave? You're scarce before I make even uglier. Charming. Right, let's keep going. And by walk, I of course mean run back. He does run a bit ridiculously, doesn't he? That doesn't look very efficient. Here's that body that we couldn't seem to investigate before. Strangely, it would still be on the map, though. Look on my... Look on my works. Serial killer? Maybe. Well, we're nearly back in Valentine. Right, first things first. We'll stop by the post office and see if we can't pay off that bounty that we shouldn't have got in the first place. Oh, that's over this way. Might even treat us ourselves to a bath while we're here before we head out and do some more dirty work. Hey, Sorry. Watch yourself. I'm pretty desperate to pay off this bounty though. Ooh. Fancy. Howdy there. Welcome. Train tickets? Doing the right thing. 
I'll let the people in New Hanover know. To be fair, I did kill that man when I didn't intend to or necessarily need to, even though he attacked me first. If that money went to his family, which I hope it does, then um, that wouldn't be completely unreasonable. So there's a camp out there. Right. So, the plan. Let's have a bath. Perhaps uh, have a quick stop by the barbers, see if we need a trim. And then we'll head out, collect the debt, and then try and say, um... Good to see you back. Try and get Mika out of prison. Oh, he remembered we'd been here before. You arrange the bath, I need a wash. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Wonderful news. Uh, not quite what I meant to do. Why is that bottle there? Is that alcohol? Or shampoo? Or something. I'm not sure they had shampoo at this point, did they? Soap's very old, but shampoo? I, I don't think... As far as I'm aware, shampoo isn't very old. Stamina has increased. Excellent. Did our clothes get cleaned as well? I swear they weren't that clean a moment ago. Oops, sorry. What do you think you're doing? I am so sorry. To hell with it! What did I ever do to you? I'm sorry. Duh. Poor lady. Need to be more careful about using that sprint button. Uh, what happened here? Come on. It's just a dead body. And no one seems to care. Stranger. Just stopping by the barber. Good to see you. Did you hear about that ruckus over at the hotel? Someone brought some new girls into town. Caused quite a stir. Goodness. Well, actually, maybe he doesn't need a shave. He's getting dirty already, goodness me. Your current length is too short, I'm fair enough. Uh never mind. Sorry to waste your time, sir. Alright. What can I do for you? Who's this then? Let's not make the same mistake as before and become and come running out of the door so fast that we um, knock down the poor lady that's outside. 
Alright, let's go for the debt first. Avoiding that body carefully. And we'll see if in one day we can't settle both the debt and help Mika out. I was in control, probably. Whoa! I swear that wasn't my fault. The horse just suddenly veered to the left for no reason. Oh, I th did you see that there was... I was walking forwards and then just for a second there we stopped. I think there was an invisible um, bounding box there. That's probably what forced the horse round to the left the first time. do. I fought off the people that attacked this site last time I was here. And there were no witnesses that I'm aware of. Oh, there was that one person that got away that I shot at. If that was actually one of the owners. Ugh. <sighs> what have we got for cover? A tree. Hold up. Just let me access my horse weapons. Uh, that's weird. There we go. The mouse wasn't there. Why aren't you using it as a toll bridge, if that's your intention? Okay, that, that, that was particularly good of them. That was a good shot. Well timed. God damn idiots. Should have let me cross. There we go. That went a bit better than our previous encounters with them, didn't it? Yeah, why would they just close a bridge down instead of trying to extort people that go over it? Strange choice. Making a bit of money back. What happened to my old hat? Guess this is my new hat. Uh, not quite what I meant to do. Wanted to examine this, this one. Guess I can't. Anything back here? Not that I can tell. Right, time to move on, I guess. Oh, wait, what? How do I do that all of a sudden? Oh, I can steal the cart if I wanted. You can sell the cart at the wagon fence. So you can sell the wagon at the wagon fence in Emerald Ranch. That's actually probably worth it. Honestly. I'm trying to loot. 
There we go. I know what I said, but I think the new plan is to sell the wagon, because I seem to remember they make really good money. Right, it's quite a way... Quite a long way out of our way, though. Maybe we do that afterwards. Yep, yep. Right, hopefully our horse is following. Actually, do I trust this wagon not to despawn? I'm not sure I do. Careful. No, 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 no. I don't want to hurt you. Yeah, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Careful. Nearly there. <laughs> it's just a 15 point turn. Oh my goodness, this is going to take ages. Oh, of course. That'd help. Alright, before I continue, what's the direction? Right, this is the right way then. Yeah, it's actually straight on most of the way. All right, let's do it. I assume no one will recognize the, uh, the wagon from a distance, such that that would cause a problem. Yeah, it tells me the time of day, but it doesn't tell me the date. Who needs money? I don't see him. Let's keep going. So, do you think I'll be able to sell the wagon and get the bounty, not the bounty, the other one, the um, the debt, and free Mika in one day? I'm doubtful, but we can try. Wow, the sky directly overhead is really dark. Interesting that I can't keep a wagon yeah. though. I guess there's just no in-game reason to ever want a wagon. Though you'd have thought it made a good place to store all your stuff. You'd store a lot more on a wagon than you could on an individual horse. That was weird. Why did the game flash like that? Right, how are we doing? Most of the way there. Okay, so... We're just coming up to a turn. I don't take that turn. The next turn I don't take, but it's the the first exit at the next turn. So the one 
more to the left. Yeah. Where'd my horse go? Hmm. I'm rather annoyed about that. That means I'm going to be walking back or more likely running. I don't know why my horse isn't with us. Well, we made it to the wagon fence anyway. Right, let's not have an accident at the last minute. Round we go, round we go, round we go. And there we go. There a war on I don't know about. How the hell you get it so beat up? And this is for you. What do we get? See you again soon. Only forty. Oh, the horse has teleported here, which I'm not complaining about for a second. Okay, girl. But look unexpected. Yeah, that's a bit disappointing. Is this the way out? No. I should have taken the left. This is the way we want to go. We found no signs of trouble. Yeah. I should probably check we're still the perfect weight, actually. I was looking for. Or was it? Uh, was it not under progress? Oh, player, presumably. Weight average. So he's slightly underweight. Average is slightly underweight. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Or rabbit. Right, I'm worried about being ambushed here, but I don't see any... Unfortunately... That's... Unfortunately, I don't have enough information to reasonably interfere. Oh. 
Right, how are we doing? I'll just follow along here. Yep. That's easy enough. A companion activity is available in camp. Talk to companions marked on your map to join in. Oh, is that what they meant? Well, I'm not interested in doing five finger fillet at the moment. Or should that be fillet? I don't know. So far, fairly uneventful. Which is what I think I prefer at this point. Surprises are usually bad surprises. Smoke. Probably a camp of some description. Who's this then? I hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> Hey, give me some goddamn space here, will you? All right. Just trying to do the friendly thing. Yeah. Let's go up here slowly. I don't trust how steep it is. The game does seem inconsistent when it comes to steepness. Sometimes quite shallow. Um, inclines, the game decides, no, no, that's far too much, you could never climb that. And yet sometimes it makes the exact opposite determination just because it happens to be on a main path. Downs Ranch. Search for Thomas Downs. Did I write Thomas Downs down? I had Mr. Downs. Right. Thomas. Noted. <sighs> right. Let's have a look around. Bit excessive. I'd rather not call him at this point. I'd rather find him. Since obviously if he found out about my presence here early it could be a problem. Might try to get away. Then again, if he's got a big ranch, he's not going to want to abandon all this, is he? So he's not likely to take off like the last, or was it the last? No, the last person we collected a debt from was the lady. What was her name? Miss Millet, was it? Lily Millet. I think it was Chick Matthews that tried to do a runner. Oh, I'm not going to get both quests done in one day, am I? Hmm.
Oh, is he over here? The game just gave it away. You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? <coughs> oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Uh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Last chance. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. Please, show some... That was harsh. This is not forgiveness of my debt. This... Pay the money. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife. Are you family or something? We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Goodness. Interesting. The game just put us back here. Does mean we can sleep for the night, but I wasn't necessarily anticipating this. Where are we being pointed towards? Oh, that probably is Herr Strauss. You get on. Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Mission complete. Money lending and other sins. Complete within two minutes, ten seconds. Yep, certainly didn't manage that, did I? Right. Oh, change clothes. Do I have my old outfit here as well? So it would seem. Hmm. Well, there you go. As I was saying, time for some rest. Letter? 
Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last Mary spoke, Linton? and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. By me. That's nice paper. A little design all round the outside. Oh, I noticed we didn't get the option to flip that letter. Ah, huh, interesting development. After we've busted Mika out of prison, perhaps we'll we'll stop by Valentine. New journal entry added. Uh, read. Strauss, I went to call in alone. Some farmer, local do gooder. I think I'd seen him in Valentine before when I was fighting that big fella. He begged and coughed and spluttered, and I beat him half to death. Such is life. Such is the world. His boy looked at me like I was the devil, and perhaps for him, I was. The whole thing confused me. Maybe that's wrong. The whole thing revolted me, my part. These said? Desperate fools, their silly expectations of life and their tawdry reality, the unkindness of existence. I can handle that just fine, but I do not love it. Nor those who try to make things otherwise, I guess. So when he says he does not like those that try to make it otherwise, does he mean those that try to make him love the unkindness of existence, or those that try to make existence less unkind? Because those are quite different things. Mary Layton. Right, that's probably Mika. So I guess we're heading south from here? Probably. Uh, what's going to be the most straightforward path? The way we're going. We're actually going right past another quest. Not sure who that's for, RS. Yep. Ah. Oh. I got bit. Oh God. Or a siphon. Oh, oh. All right. All right. Quit moaning. Oh, Christ. Oh. 
Oh, God. Let's keep this between us. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh. Oh. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. Oh, oh. 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 Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Yeah. I suppose he was bit by a rattlesnake or something. Easy now. And we can add Fox to the list. Yeah, it won't take long, girl. Poor Fox Pelt. Poor Fox indeed. The American Red Fox is native to the forests and grasslands of West Elizabeth, New Hanover and Lemoyne. As omnivores, the diet consists of small mammals like squirrels and rabbits, as well as birds, fruits, berries and grasses. A bow with arrows or a repeater is considered to be the best weapon to either wound or kill a fox. The skin and claws of American Red Foxes can be used for crafting. Hmm, I'm curious what the quest is here, but we'll worry about that later. Let's, let's see what we can do for poor old Mika. Huh, something here. Any smoke on the horizon? Not that I see. Interesting accent. Is that supposed to be Mexican? Senor, can I show you? What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem for me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, well, no, wait. Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago <laughs> in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Well, well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... <gasps> A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. I think he's cheating me, but sure. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Right, let's keep going. Yep. Yep, indeed. Hmm. There we go. We're gonna have difficulty getting down safely. Ah, oh, the railway tracks go over. Hey, hey. 
Bard's Crossing. I'll be back, girl. Let's hope there's no train coming. Vulture. Western Turkey Vulture. Western Turkey Vultures are found in a variety of habitats across New Austin and West Elizabeth. Its carnivorous diet consists of birds, amphibians and fish. They prefer freshly dead animals due to meat, the meat being softer. The quickest way to hunt birds of this size is by using a varmint rifle. Their gaming meat can be used for food and their feathers can be used for crafting. Yeah, so I imagine a vulture's uh, Come on, girl. meat is very gamey. Yeah. Right, let us pray a train doesn't choose to um, cross the bridge at this exact moment or we have a problem. What's that noise? No, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. West Elizabeth, right. I think we are actually heading towards the town. That train is not moving. Which is fine by me. Alright, what way do we want to go from here? Uh, actually... Yeah, this isn't a bad route. Blimey. Okay. Please, sir, please stop. Oh, I beg you. Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Well, after you. What possessed me to come out here, I'll never know. <laughs> Jumping on? None of this is familiar to me, but it all looks the same, so... Guess not. What are you doing out here, anyway? Clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't know, and I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. Little taken. <laughs> oh yes, this does look familiar.
Careful now, you don't want to get run over. Blow me and another one. Well, we must be most of the way there by now. And we can see what we can do about Mr. Mika Bell. I wish you'd just jump on the back. There we go. You've rescued me from the depth. You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. Interesting. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Something off about Strawberry I never Man. I I'd be so happy to see this Paul Peep. Uh, New Yorkers. Jesus. Good morning. Looks alright to me. Morning. Something? Nope, just trying to save a few seconds. Yeah. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on Blackwater. the trail of a dangerous gang. Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Hmm, that's suboptimal. This is raining. Locate and speak to Mika. Is he round the back? You think these bars can hold me? You hear me? Round here, maybe? Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. <laughs> I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Oh, dear. That steam donkey over there still works. Break the bars. I was thinking. I was, I was thinking that myself. Although possibly just using the horse, since if the bars aren't that well attached to the, the wall, they would come free. This wall just needs some good force. Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. Make sure my horse is nearby. 
What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Once my horse is here. Right. Don't we still we haven't named it source yet. Here we go. Whatever this is, it's not powered though, it's not on. Why me? Oh, that'll have heard that. Let's get out of here, come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Oh dear. That took a few more shots than it should have done. Wanted dead or alive. Oh my goodness, I took his hat off, but not him. My horse. Should have left you to hang. We're in it now, Morgan. What do you want to do? We should be lucky. Right, I need something better for healing. Am I out of the good stuff? I might be. Nope, that'll do it. The marbles? This is the double barrel shotgun, I didn't want that, I wanted the rifle. There we go. Move up, damn it. We really should get out of here. Calm yourself, woman. Like I said, I need to see someone. Oh, that's him. Good thing I missed. That would have been embarrassing. If you're going in there. So he's just killed a woman, I think. They had something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it this time. You're gonna wish you killed me. Yes, I am very popular, as, as you can see. Oh, no, that's not cover. Up here, come on. Along this town's a damn gun. 
Nice shooting. I keep missing. You're teasing me. I wasn't sure you'd manage to fit this uh, game in your streams. Well, I'm giving it a go. Ow, why aren't you moving faster? Right, this is definitely a revolver time. I saw three headshots in a row. Well, that was very atypical if you did. Where's he going? He's going this way. Okay. Woo! Let's get out of here before we get any more on our tail. Okay, I assume we're going back to camp. There was some good shooting, Morgan. Whew. I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? <laughs> Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. Are you following me or am I following I'm you? I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, I'm following you. Be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. Very ominous weather. I just want to make sure you... Yeah, yeah, okay. Yep. Definitely you. I'm following you. I think we finally lost. I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. Nice thank chap you're walking with. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all the yeah, time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now, Arthur. Oh, you Mr. Morgan needs to shave again. Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp around back of Strawberry. <laughs> Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. He's going to get himself killed, and possibly us. Off-hand holster. Tell me more about this off-hand holster. Oh, we can't go back, but you can. Uh, okay. That's not the off-hand holster. While escaping, kill all mounted lawmen within 55 seconds. Get 15 headshots, complete with at least 70% accuracy. Complete the mission without taking any health items. Hmm. As you can see, I didn't do all that well. I take it you haven't uh, seen much of um, my playthrough of this game so far, but uh, one thing I am finding is it's a really harsh game to players that aren't very good at FPS. They really seem to go in for punish punishing you if um, if you can't shoot straight. I mean, I suppose it depends what you're after, because they don't usually like um, you don't 
usually end up having to go far back on the quests because they have checkpoints but like for example there was this one quest I got a while ago where we were going after uh, Hosea and Mr. Morgan were um, oh careful whoa 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 Hosea and Morgan were hunting this massive bear which turned out to be a legendary bear at the end of the quest uh, we were given the choice whether we wanted to go back immediately or whether we wanted to carry on hunting the bear. I chose to carry on hunting the bear, managed to kill it, kill it, put the legendary hide on the horse, and then on the way back, when we were, what, about three quarters of the way back to the camp? Maybe more? Hold on, are we wanted in this area? Is that why? Okay, yeah. Just wanted to verify that. So this is the area that we're not welcome not the area we're going into anyway as I was saying I put the legendary hide on the on uh, my horse got at least three quarters of the way back and then we just got ambushed um, by a bunch of mounted riders killed and then when I respawned the legendary hide was gone uh, this seems to be some sort of side quest I don't know what a random event I think maybe a lady's being kidnapped Good thing the horse... Okay, the horse has run off with her. Uh, that's... Let go! Let go! She's a priority! Okay. If you're gonna... You wanna do it that way, we can do it that way. No! No! <laughs> I'm sure she's fine. Where's she gone? She's not on the map. I can hear her. There she is. Easy. Come on now, easy. Easy. Hey, now. Go easy. We're easy now. Easy, easy. Go easy. Come on now. Come on. Now. Easy. Ow. That's not easy. Why would you do this? Yes. Oh, bye. I mean, I could offer you a lift back to town. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going. I'm going, okay? Okay. Bye. At least she's happy. I don't think she's happy. Maybe she didn't want me to kill him, but the problem was he opened fire on me. Yep. Speaking of unfairnesses, um, one of the missions I picked up was for an Ursa, and I was I was collecting debts as as you do, and I had to collect one of a debt from a, a young lady and when I approached her a man uh, stepped in the way and attacked me um, it wasn't even a you know if you try and take the money off off her you're going to have a problem with me type situation he just started hitting me so I fought back accidentally killed him um, she then told me to take the money off his body, because apparently she'd given him all the money she had, so she alleges. And then, as I took the money off the body, 
some random person in the background said, Hey, I've witnessed a crime! And then Arthur correctly pointed out, I'm not robbing him, I'm collecting a debt. And then the man said, Oh, well, that's none of my business, I just know I've witnessed a crime! Or something like that. Runs off, I let him run off, don't care. Then I get a $15 bounty on my head in that county, which I had to pay off. Maybe he's having a minor traumatic response to armed men with guns. This is true, but I'm not sure insisting upon um, navigating the wilds in your underwear is necessarily the most um, helpful response. The most likely to engender your survival, I suppose, I mean. Also, I am not a th fan of the honor system in this game. It's so clear that the honor system is just supposed to be a morality system in this game, but that because you're playing a career criminal, they decided it can't be morality, so we'll call it honor instead. But yet they still try and tie things to what you what what could be considered m morality, but for practical utility. Hold up. Shelf that for a second. I guess you forgot about the interest. Excuse me? Looks like you need a lesson. Dear Lord! Every one of us O'Driscoll's gonna piss on your grave! Keep them O'Driscoll's will see you under! Don't mind me. I'm sure they're just sleeping. Arthur <laughs> is actually a one-man army. Cool, he is pretty terrifying. Uh, what was I thinking? Yeah, so... Uh, for example... Um, when the game began, we were uh, fleeing the law into the mountains. Uh, there had been some sort of incident in Blackwater, but we, Arthur didn't, Mr. Morgan, I should say, didn't seem clear on what had happened. I don't think he had been present for those events. Uh, but what we've pieced together since then is that there was some sort of attempted uh, robbing of a boat, which a rival crime gang, the Pinkertons, took exception to. I don't know whether it was their boat or if they, they had planned to rob the same boat at the same time or something. I don't know. All I know is that there was significant fallout from that um, and it was as a direct result of that incident and in, oh during which several members of um, Dutch's crew died it was during the fallout of that that it led to the um, whole caravan fleeing into the mountains right so we arrive in this town Valentine where we're not known and then uh, we're not we're not there very long you know, like an hour or so, when suddenly some man um, shouts, Hey, hey, I know you, don't you? I know you from Blackwater. And, I'll f and Mr. Morgan says, No, no, I, I don't think so. I, I've not, I'm not from there. And it's like, Yes, I saw you a few weeks ago. And it was like, No, no, you must have me mistaken for someone else. He said, Yes, I'm sure I have. And, and, um, and then he just takes off on his horse galloping like he's going to tell somebody or something. It's not exactly clear what it is that he thinks is he's going to do, but he seems very excited. And then, so, um, Mr. Morgan says to the others, right, I'll take care of this. Uh, we chase him down. He ends up managing to nearly drive his horse off a cliff and ends up falling off and grabs onto the side of the cliff. And um, I make the call that, right, unfortunately, although this may be an inno innocent person, we're career criminals, we can't have him telling people that we are from Blackwater because then they might make the link to the bounty on our head. So I kill him. And then, I'm, and then I lose honour. I, I, that's considered a dishonourable act. It's like, yeah, but you're a career criminal. Like, there's, 
there is no sensible other choice there if you if you're not prepared to hand yourself in and be hung and from the neck until you're dead. <laughs> if you intend to go on li living and th those that you care about to go on li li living, there is only one choice there. Un honor's got nothing to do with it. This is an old flame, I believe. Yes? <laughs> well, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is, um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Quite stylish hair. I mean... Mary? Um, Bit old Kemp, I heard you and but your still. friends was around. I... Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Oh, Happy. we should have had a shave sure. and a wash first. So, uh, well, you've been. <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, ah, okay. I, my family, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg mm -hmm. you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. Is this some Cthulhu cult? So I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. Yeah, I'm that's the concept of a hired I hand. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... That's what the help's for. I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's You're so almost part of the family, Arthur. like a pet. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Oh, I lost my hat. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. <laughs> and so now apparently I'm honorable. Come on, girl. Pretty sure I did the same thing. Old move from Arthur regarding the you've been made a widow. Well, it's important to be clear on these matters. Uh, where are we going? Uh, where on earth are we going? Oh, there. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's not far. I mean, it's not super close, but it's not super far either. We can do that. Right. Before we do... Uh, no, actually. We can do that after, since we're coming back here anyway. Yeah, that's the right way. Oh, 
Oh, if I'm lucky, I might be able to pick up another hat. Missed where I left the old one behind. If I'm unlucky, the only hats I'll have will be octopus-headed parasites. Or octopus head parasites, I suppose I mean. Okay. Can you pay extra for that at DLC? Not that I'm aware of. My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, sure. I oh, oh, off to the cultists? You, thank you. Well, we headed. You know Emerald Ranch? Yes, that's a, me there? that's a bit out of the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. yeah. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool. Always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit? He was a fine animal. Loyal. Smart. Brave. Didn't take no guff. Not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and Rabbit. find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise, because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that was a charming story. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. Uh, we went into the house. Sometimes. Couldn't didn't see a daughter. It, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there. All shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him. Bottle in hand. Yeah, in an earlier quest we actually robbed them and I went into the house and I found a man sleeping upstairs on his own and I found a woman, sorry, I found another man sleeping downstairs but I didn't find a single woman there. Oh, we're getting close now. Yep, we are. This is great. You're welcome. This was kind of you, mister. Please, no take this as my way of thanking you. That's not necessary. But something tells me Mr. Morgan's going to take it anyway. Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. Jeez. 
Better check she's going to be alright, actually. Man, what might you be wanting? Yeah, she seems fine. Right, let's be on our way. Uh, right. What's going to be... That's exactly the wrong direction. Okay. So we want to turn around and go the other way. Yeah, so we go up that way. Ah, that's the railway track. Huh. So although this is the right way as the crow flies, I'm now actually thinking that possibly would have been better if, if we had gone the other way. Unless we want to go cross country. We could go cross country. The danger is, going cross country, is do you just suddenly find there's like a cliff or something you can't navigate? Or a dense forest or something that's a nuisance to get through. Oh well. Yeah. Whichever way I go, the sooner I get started, the sooner I'll be finished. Yeah, so if I take a left here, this will be slightly longer than I would have liked, but we will get there. And it won't involve any dodgy cross-country travel. I see smoke in the distance. I wonder if that's a camp of some description. Yep. Hello, sir. Hello, what do we have here? Oh, wow. Wow. I know my shooting's usually bad. It's not usually quite that bad. So much for not going cross country. Gotcha. Oh. This is how I discover the natural world, by the way. I kill something, then I skin it, and then I learn about it. Oh, it's a coyote. That's what it is. I consider myself a lover of nature. Poor coyote pelt. Poor indeed. The Californian Valley Coyote can be found across New Austin, West Elizabeth, uh, Lemoyne, and New Hanover. The diet is, primi is primarily carnivorous, consuming the meat of rodents as their main food source. Using a bow and arrows or a repeater should be considered when hunting for a clean kill. Their pelt can be sold or used in crafting, and their meat can be consumed, though it is considered stringy. Okay, girl. Yeah. Right, where were we? How? Going this way, I guess. I guess we are doing it the cross-country way. At least if we go cross country, we're much less likely to um, encounter ambushes. Since it makes sense that someone would set up an ambush at a choke point on a main road, but why would they do that literally in the middle of nowhere? Oh, we found a road anyway, never mind. Still, that probably took some time off our journey. Wow. I must say, they did do a good job of the graphics in this game in terms of making the... the natural scenes quite varied depending upon weather and... 
uh, time of day, but at the same time quite Quite beautiful. Okay. Hmm. Technically we're close here, but there's no easy way to approach. Oh, I see. Right, okay, there's a little path that leads up to it. So we need to backtrack slightly. Really? Oh, you're a good man. A good man. Yeah, I thought you were going to do that. Just had to ask for help, huh? Oops. Didn't mean to click that. Meant to click this. Come on back. Seemed a bit unlikely to just encounter this man in the middle of nowhere. Drop sawn off shotgun for worn cattleman revolver. Uh, didn't mean to do that. I don't actually want to swap it out, I'd just like to examine it. There we go. Okay, it didn't get added to my... Hold on. No, there is a simple way we can do this. Because I've got my horse here. Swap it out. Uh, horse cargo. No, horse weapons. Right. Oh, I have two revolvers now. Huh. I didn't know I could do that. But do I still have my shotgun? I assumed I dropped it. Maybe I do. Let me check. Horse weapons. Oh yeah, double barreled shotgun. I do have it. That double-barreled shotgun, oh, we don't have many rounds. I was going to say, we might actually want to consider it for the cultists. So, out of curiosity, can I dual-wield revolvers? I can. No, I'm not. Uh, not quite doing what I thought I was doing. That's how we'd do that. Right. Let's get back on our horse and say hello to these cultists. I mean, technically, we were just told that they're a religious... Oh, no, that she did say cult, didn't she? I haven't made that up. Time for a daring nighttime raid. Whoa, careful, careful. Ow. You alright, girl? Your horse is critically injured. Use your horse reviver to heal your horse or it will die. Well, that seems harsh. Good thing I have one. I'll have to remember to pick some more up when I'm in town. Right, I've made a note of that. Hopefully I'll remember to check my my notes when we're next in town. Right, why did that go wrong? Maybe that's just the game's way of telling me I can't take my horse up there. I mean I was about to dismount anyway. Once we just got once we crested the top. Yeah. 
No, I think I can take my horse up here. I just have to be super careful about it. Alright, that'll do. Let's not get any closer with the horse. Actually, this is slightly risky, given the treacherous terrain that we've just witnessed. But if I'm careful... There we go. No, 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 no. Too far, too far. There, there. Stop, stop, stop. There, stop, stop. There, there, there. Good. Have the horse facing the other way. So if I have to leave in a hurry... Right. I probably want to have a good look at what we're getting into before I do anything. Interesting, there's chanting. Right, where's my items? Sneak all of a sudden. The great Cholonian master led pilgrims across the Lanahat into the wilderness. I genuinely can't sneak all of a sudden. I can't access my inventory either. Maybe time to reveal myself. Oh, they're not going to jump off, are they? I don't trust you. I just... If I get closer, can I speak? Speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Undecided. Impatient. <laughs> well, I think unpa impatience is just going to lead to so violence. do you have an answer? Um, still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. <laughs> If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... 
I'm not. I'm not coming with you, Arthur. Just come and speak with Mary. Then make up your mind. Sure. Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help. Oh no. I'm not going to lasso him if I can help it, because that could seriously injure him. Again, how else am I going to stop him? Oh wow, his horse is fast. Then again, he did get a fair lead. Whoa! I am very impressed my horse made that jump. There you are. It's open country now. I hope a train's not about to come past. No, we're good. Resource. It doesn't have this much stamina. I need to go slower for a bit to let the horse recover. Then he's going to get away. Jamie got away, did he? Oh. I'm glad the game let me retry it, but... Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Alright, let's try this again. I don't want to lasso him. Navigated that bit a bit more cleanly, didn't I? When the screen went uh, black and white, I thought that possibly the train had got him. Arthur, 
I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. Well, look, he's out of options. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, don't. Calm down. Leave me alone. Uh, hold left click to begin to fill the meter before drawing. Shoot the gun out of Jamie's hand. Oh my goodness. Move the reticle with. No! <laughs> oh dear. I still haven't got the hang of that whole dead eye time. I warn you, Arthur. I'm. I'm gonna. I don't wanna live anymore. Kid, just. Calm down. Leave me alone. So I was holding down left click the entire time there. I don't think I was supposed to. Now calm down. That was a weird noise. Let's go see your sister. Okay. Oh, is that a sudden change okay. of heart? Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? To be clear, I will still I be hog tying you. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Am I allowed off of the horse? Easy. Whoa. Where are we going? I'm not allowed on that horse, okay. Nothing I can do? No. I mean, I don't know why I wouldn't lead the other horse back, but okay. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know... You taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. <laughs> Lonely as old. Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. Who? They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. Quit the turtles. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. <laughs> the thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. But... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. 
But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. He told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. There we go. Is that so? Wait, where are you taking me? Before we go back, we've just got to do one other thing. One other little job. So where is she? She's there. Alright. Yeah, this should work. As long as there's not a train coming across here. Are we going the right way? We're going a right way. To the hotel. That's our first stop. Why are we getting off? Well, before I um, take you back to your sister, first things first, I'm having a bath. Arthur <laughs> is such a wholesome career criminal. Oh, I'm not allowed. This game. Can I at least have a shave? Oh, I should have done it before I picked him up. Really? Uh, that's the general store. No use playing Hello, innocent I'm around here. I don't remember you. Hey, be more careful. Welcome back, sir. I'll have you neatened up in no time. Trim, please. Also need a bit of a um, trim of your head hair, don't you? Your moustache hasn't grown in a very long time. It's strange. Hair. Trim. Hair. Really? That doesn't... The game claims you don't need to. Look, don't worry. You made a good choice. What if we pomade it? Damn near a work of art. That'll do. There we go. Now, now I'm ready to um, bring you back to your sister. Hello. Thank you. Really. Where have you gone? On you get. Mm. Keeping that temper of yours in check. <laughs> you looking for trouble? Here we are. She must be waiting inside.
Make it quick or I might run off again. <laughs> you better not. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Yes? Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. Suboptimal. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Oh, I got silver for that one. What could I have done better? Turn Jamie to Mary within two minutes. Well, there was a problem with that. Uh, where's the post office? While I'm here, I can... Is the post office this way? Yes. While I'm here, I can just uh, deal with that, that little bounty. I mean, you didn't take his horse back. Make be the secret strat is to shoot it. I don't follow you. I need some money. Can't you help fill out? I just want to get a drink. I'm parched. Oh, I see. To. Oh, right. So he can't get away. I see what you mean. I was gonna say because I feel like the main. Or at least part of the problem was insisting upon it's going to the here, barbers Mr. before we met up with his sister. Liberty is worth every penny. Eighty-five dollars. Ah. <sighs> so be it. It ain't so bad. See you later. Thanks to Mika for that. Idiot. Right, so we should probably have ourselves a bath and then, I don't know, head back to camp maybe? Uh, what quests do we have in the area? Bro, you must have seriously war crimed it in there. It's <laughs> I was instructed to bust him out of prison. There was a, quite a large number of men that took exception to that. That is all that happened there. Uh, what was I thinking? Missions, that's what I was checking. Uh, interesting. I don't know who J.E. is. Off the top of my head. But I'm intrigued by the fact that they're over a border. In somewhere I'm apparently not welcome. 
Maybe we'll check that out next. Uh, where was I going? The hotel, wasn't it? For a bath. Welcome back. It's good to be back. Can I get a hot bath? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Wonderful news. I hope this won't mess with my hair. Wait, I just had a thought. Where are all these bubbles coming from? I'm pretty sure they didn't have bubble bath back then. And soap on its own is not going to produce that many bubbles. Your stamina has increased. I've never figured that out. Every time we have a bath, apparently our stamina increases. How are we doing on the old weight front now? I know we did go down from perfect weight to average weight, didn't we? Underweight. Okay, that's not ideal. That's what it claims. It seems a bit hard to believe, doesn't it? What's my weight like now? You can't go on bulk, yeah. Can I just eat myself to a healthy weight right here, right now? Rooms are quite clean. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I recommend half a rub of B and J before bed every night. I assume that's half a tub of Ben and Jerry's. Well, he's just eaten three cartons of biscuits and he's still underweight, so I don't know. No, oh, it's uh you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath perhaps? Just that one. Yeah, I don't know what to say. He's had a, a, a jar of offal, three packets of biscuits, and a bread roll, and he's still underway. Uh, is the shop still open? I'm guessing not. Oh my goodness, I think it might be. I want to make sure I pick up some more horse reviver. Got everything you need. Have a look. Where'd you keep it? Uh, I might just ask you. Ain't no other outfit beats their prices. Horse care. Horse simulant horse reviver. Nice. Sold out. Thank you, sir. And that should be good. 
Thank you for your help. I won that game fair and square. Shit, fair and square my ass! You heard me, fair and square. Well, why don't you let well, your pitch tool do the talking? I could have sworn I heard a woman screaming a moment ago. Okay, that was a gunshot over there. There's something going on in there as well. What happened over here? Oops. No idea. If something was going on there, I missed it. Ah, there's our noble thoroughbred. Right, let's head off. Uh, where are we headed? I want to investigate what's going on down here, so I guess we're going south. Since it's into dangerous territory, I have nothing against going there at night. Since I assume it will make us harder to spot. Horse bonding increased. You've unlocked skid turns and skid stops with this horse. Hold X left shift while moving to perform these moves. That's not an easy combination. Handy though. Whoa. That was very close. I was looking at the keyboard. Can you drift with your horse now? I think I can. That wasn't quite a drift, was it? Eh. Close enough. Oh dear. That really tied out the horse. Uh, am I heading the wrong way? I am heading the wrong way, aren't I? I think. Oh no! No, I am actually heading the right way. Uh, it's just that we're actually, um, we were further north than camp. So going south, I'm going past the camp. Where do we want to go from here? We want to keep going straight, don't we? And then we go round. Easy now. Who's this gonna be? J E. Oh, Mr. Asquella. I even get more information. The first shall be last. Dutch told us to try and rescue Sean. And the bounty hunters hold him, him, holding him in black water. Oh, that's what that is. What's this one then? Uh, Reverend Swanson. Hosea told you that Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake. Oh, the body. Yeah, that was pretty grim. Looked like a serial killer had done it, had left that to me. All right. If that's the case, we'll rest rest for the night. Man coming in. The hero returns. 
And then look up the Reverend Swanson quest first. Since I assume the Esquella one is probably advancing the story. Blimey. Hello. Right, uh, wait, isn't there some sort of stew here, notionally? Grub. Maybe we should have some grub. Uh, that's exactly the wrong direction. This is the right way. Bowl of stew, please, for my poor underweight self. When you grab a bowl of stew, you'll need to wait a few days before being able to grab another. How, how does that work? How are these people still alive if that's how it works? Blimey, he downed the whole stew. <laughs> Fresh out of the pot as well. That man's tongue must be leather. By being hopeful. New journal entry. What have we got here then? Uh, as for Mary, I trust I'll not make a an awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. Uh, do you need to shave? You're not looking too bad, actually. Yeah, you're looking fine. You know what I never did, never did do? Get myself another hat. Oh well, you never know. This might be. This might be our chance. Uh, there's the horse. Oh, is that both my other horses? No, because I never had another white horse. I never had a white horse till my thoroughbred. So, no, it can't be. Must be someone else's horse. Come on, girl. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Right, so we want to go east from here, which is broadly speaking the direction I'm heading in, I think. That's to get to the road, and now we go south. Hello, what's going on over here? There's a big old question mark again. Oh, 
Station transport. Keep clear. This isn't right. Let me out of here. It weren't my fault. I don't deserve to be locked up. Like we haven't heard that before. Come on, please. Let me out of here. Oh, just shut up. Shut up. Uh, is this what we were? The mystery? Did the university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. Uh -huh. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. Huh. Well, there wasn't that a interesting interaction. Back to career cri uh, career crime. Careful, does it? Whoa, easy. I think this is navigable, but I'll have to be very careful. There we go. Yeah. We're good. In real life, I don't think a horse would do very well trying to run over tracks like that. That was quite the impressive stop, wasn't it? Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. Opium? No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. <laughs> oh. Well, how's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. 
I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Find Reverend Swanson. Sorry, you, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. There you are. Come here, girl. You're going down. At least get me proud. Get faster. Come on. Oh, dad. <laughs> You're being awfully nice and not whipping out a, a knife or a gun. Nice shot. Not nice enough, unfortunately. Oh, was it? Oh my God. What the hell are you doing? Was that the wrong person, or d does it spawn as a different person this time? get to where he is. Oh, okay. He's well past the tracks then. Wait, what? What did I do wrong this time? You failed to return to Reverend Swanson. Oh. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! No, not the Journal. Put the journal away. 
horse. That's what we want. This place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Help! Help me, or we're both dead! Ah, okay. I didn't appreciate there was a prompt there until it was a little too late. That's interesting, I can't call the horse. I only wanted to do so, so that afterwards the horse would be close. And again, maybe that's a good thing, because it might go on the tracks. It appears to like this place, and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Get it! Come on! Oh, that's a horse. Yeah, I didn't pull out a knife or a gun because I didn't want to kill him. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Ah. I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? What? <sighs> okay, then. I wonder if he's still going to, um... Be willing to talk about Margaret when he's sober. my turn. Hey, oh, we're taking him back to camp. I didn't realise he was one of us. Oh, I do remember references to a reverend, actually, at the start of the game. I was wondering when he'd show up. Drop the reverend off in his bed. Don't mind me. You 
better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. <sighs> Who is not without sin? Only got a bronze. What could I have done better? Uh, win two hands of poker. Return Reverend to camp within two minutes. Five seconds. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Hello, I dread Arthur. to think how far he would have got away if I played some hands of poker. Arthur Morgan. Right, where do be that big map? Here it is. I think there's only one quest left on the map, indeed, and it's down here. Best be heading that way. Oh, are we still underweight? I don't really know how the weight gain and loss actually works. Like, how quickly would I expect to see results? But the, the answer to that question is yes, we are still underweight. Identify yourself. It's me. I ain't even gonna ask for you, man. Right. So I guess we That was a gunshot. I was about to say, I guess we're heading over the border. Ah, senor! I think maybe we see if uh, last time was luck, huh? I'm feeling good today, Way. What do you say about upping the ante this time? Make it interesting. Why not? I'm feeling good, too. Ha! Okay, my friend, let's do it. Just like the last... Okay, who can shoot the most bottles? Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready. All right, bottles. <laughs> shoot. Ah, yes. Where are the rest? Perfecto. I don't see the rest. Ha. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Ah, well, it explains the smell of tequila in the air, at least. Hey, you gave it a good try, man. How about a chance for redemption, huh? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Aha, that's a good call, amigo. All right, real simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Shooting, I guess. Ah, uh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. So it's a complete reversal of last time. Last time I succeeded the first time but failed the second. Uh, let's have something to eat to help restore that dead eye. <laughs> Why is it all the alcohols that restore the, um... Am I out of food? No? Yeah, let's go with gritty fish then. Don't know when I got that. Yeah. 
Right, where were we going? We were heading south, weren't we? Which is this way? I think it's calories and time, but time in terms of loading screens and stuff. Interesting. How do I get down safely? Over here, I think. But does that... Oh, okay, so I can't... Even if I stuffed my face right now, I wouldn't be able to increase my weight. I'd have to consistently eat more over a period of time. And you think it may be loading screens in particular that are the trigger. I think it might be something like it won't update to the loading screen. Ah. Oh, well if it's as simple as that, then does that mean having stuffed my face next loading screen is uh is going straight to overweight? Blimey, the end of the next day already. Careful. Wow, okay. That could have gone very differently. Uh, horses are actually great swimmers, so this should be fine. This seems... See, when I said they're great swimmers, they don't walk on water. I was expecting it to be a little deeper. There we go. is a bit tired. Look at all those thoroughbreds. Actually, I suppose I should follow the road, really. Oh, I can't follow the road the whole way. where I thought I was. Yeah, I haven't crossed the river. Maybe that's the river I crossed. No, that's what I crossed. I haven't crossed that. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. Let's think about this. Down there. If I want to get down to the beach, this is the safest way to do it. It's actually a pretty safe crossing point as well. Wow. Okay, that's more what I was expecting with the other river. West Elizabeth wanted dead or alive. That's less than ideal. Well, I wasn't given the option to pay this off at the post office. Get up top somehow. Yep. Whoop. Careful. Yep. I'm not sure there's a way up over here. I may have to go round the beach a bit. This is looking more like it. Right, so we're trying to save Sean, is it? I think that's the plan. Well. Let's restore some more dead eye. Okay. 
gentlemen. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. Uh, I should probably remember to save. How do I do that? There was an odd way you had to save, wasn't it? Because usually you expect save to be on this menu. Was it under player? No. Normally you'd expect save to be from the main menu. Progress? Story? No. What was save? It's not going to be under online. I don't think it was under settings. Oh, how do I save? Don't think it's under help. Maybe it is under player. Player general? No. Story. Save game. That's where it is. Saved. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Don't mind me, I'll just um Where's Trelawney? I'll just stand up straight. Just keep your eyes open. On the edge of the cliff. Hey. Mm. Where is that little Irish best? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well... We'll rescue Sean, and we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Does that mean we're moving on from Horseshoe Overlook? Need you now, girl. Just after we got settled in. Find the boat. Alrighty. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? Hold V to switch to cinematic camera. Alike. Why would I want to do that? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. What is this voice acting? Anyway, we should keep it down. Indeed. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. 
He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Do a great job of keeping up, did they? Good thing the river ends there. I'm not quite sure why though, because you don't see any runoff or anything. Maybe it doesn't end, maybe that's just where they happen to stop. And the angle of the camera meant that it looked like the river was ending when it wasn't. Oh, I'm in control again, I am. Look, they've stopped. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep. That's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking them up the canyon. I'm not in control here. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Okay, I am actually supposed to follow this time. The game's not going to do it for me. I'm not sure in a real situation like this, just saying, don't worry, I have an idea is going to be good enough. Since it is literally a life or death situation, you would think they would want a little more communication than that. If we can, leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Counterpoint. Our to her is the Terminator. Arthur is the Terminator. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Excuse me, dear brothers, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You take the one on the left. Okay, come on. Stay low. I, I'm, I'm close to the one on the right, though. If I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't, I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> You're making a bit of a mess out of this. Come on, let's get up there. Ow! A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. I notice you've got your gun out all of a sudden. Going for another step pair of stealth kills if we can. Someone in the distance might be heading towards us. No, nope, they're heading away now. Oh my goodness, how? What did they see or hear?
You wouldn't believe the number of times this stream I've shot somebody's hat off instead of shooting them in the head. I'm not sure why the game felt like highlighting that kill, but it did. Oh no wait, you said Charles, not Arthur. brings a bow and arrow to a gunfight. There was that one, was it World War One Gen... not General, um, officer. See, not a general. They actually did that, wasn't there? I've got a feeling you may have been Scottish. I may have made that up there. They seem to have uh, misunderstood, these bounty hunters seem to have misunderstood the basic principles of a hanging. <laughs> you know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, Nothing means more to me than this game, the bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <laughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. <clears throat> well, I imagine y'all miss me a lot. But fear not. The joy's back in your lives now. Compendium update, Tomahawk. Oh, goodness me. I guess I should get looting. I only got a silver there. What could I have done to do better? Shoot the rope to free Sean. Oh, come on. How was I supposed to know that was... um? Something I'd be rewarded for. Waste of a bullet, if you ask me. Frankly, cutting the rope was a waste as well. 
Should have just untied him. Wanted. Do, 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 do. Time to go. No more looting. Not today. me just ride by those four sheriffs. Oh, I do like that realism. The fact that, of course, they wouldn't know who who the um, person that committed that crime, what they looked like. They wouldn't... Let me try again. Because, of course, the sheriffs wouldn't have known who the perpetrator of the crime... Let me try a third time. Because the sheriffs wouldn't know what the perpetrator of the crime looked like. I think that was a thing. I don't follow you. Can't remember. Oh, there's something over here. Why does that look like a radioactive sign? Oh, is it just poker? I think it's just poker. <laughs> Graceful as ever. I meant to do that. Poker's a lot more fun when you're drinking. Is that not what I was supposed to discover here, though? <laughs> Don't mind me. Ah, over here. Somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, do you smoke, sir? Sure. <laughs> Perhaps I was gonna say no. As you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about it. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. Cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah. Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain <laughs> to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money? <laughs> a veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here, circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. Uh-huh. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. But, you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now, you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rampart, at your service. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. He still didn't get a rough price, though. 
he could find himself very disappointed. Wow, what a fascinating individual. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a good man to disappoint. Well, if you're several states over, it's probably not so bad. I've no idea where that train was headed. Quests have opened up. What have we got? John Marston. Who was John Marston? I recognise Marston. I've forgotten who he was though. to say, I know Arthur. you bastards oh, miss me. Mr. is back. Even you, Arthur. So come on. Even you. Let's have ourselves a party. Here we go. Well, no speeches, please. Back oh, home, sorry. So everything's going to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. Mm. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. Are we allowed grub? We're not allowed grub. Unless that was the wrong place. Looked like a, uh, a pot to me, though. Oh, that's provisions. Yeah, it's not on the map, is it? Probably about time I deposit a bit of money, isn't it? Or I'm not allowed to. Well, time for bed, I suppose, and then we'll uh, see see about that quest in the morning. Ah, uh, Arthur gets four hours of sleep. New journal entry. What do we have in the journal today? Funny how he wakes up and his journal's updated itself. See, I'd be suspicious under these circumstances. This fella I took to talking with at the train station told me that I could get decent money if I collected complete sets of cigarette cards and sent them to him. We shall see. Sounds harmless enough. Without looking at your streaming, I thought you were saying it was your bedtime. I will be going to bed soonish. I thought this was supposed to be morning. It's not morning. another dollar. Yeah, did I get confused or something? Was that not morning? 
Oh, morning's five hours away. Huh. Alright, so, um, Mr. Morgan gets nine hours sleep then. Some of those stars seemed much larger than they should be. Uh, let's have a look at our weight. Has it gone up? No, it has not. Good morning, Arthur. Morning. So, a fella in town recognized me from Blackwater. That's not good. It's okay, though. I dealt with it. Drink all that. Nope, it would appear I am not allowed more food. Uh, how am I doing for ammo? How do I even check while I'm here? That's annoying. Uh, isn't there some sort of ammo cache somewhere that I can raid? That'd be an idea and then we can check out... Oh, shaving. Shaving, I nearly forgot. Uh, I think we're good. Oh, his moustache needs a slight trim. It finally grew. Well, wow, his hair is still pomaded. I'm surprised. That's been quite some time. Why is there just a bottle of drink in the air? Okay, that was a thing. Uh, ammo, that's what I was doing. If there is a way to get ammo from here, I can't figure out how to do it. Charming fellow. Hey, Arthur. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. I don't think that's how it actually works in real life. Kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border. 
north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Interesting. Right, Mika, Mr. Mr. Bell has some um, another quest opening up. Let's see what we can do about these wagons. If there's two wagons, how am I going to do that on my own? Yes. Looks real heavy in Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. I got no intention of going back anytime soon. Uh, horse is this way, isn't it? Another morning. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Happy to have something. Yeah, I could go either way, couldn't I? This'll do. Just a broken down wagon there. Hmm. Unexplained. Ah, this must be the refinery they were talking about. You say it's private property and yet you've made an absolutely no effort to... Okay, here you've made some effort. That's the first effort I've seen made to mark this place as um, private, those fences there. Like, just to have own a bit, some open fields connected to some other open fields and then get mad at someone because it's private property seems... A tad misguided. <sighs> How am I going to do this then? And there's two of them. Is there a way I can check? Um, a quest I'm currently on. Because there might be some guidance as to what the game actually thinks I'm supposed to be doing here. I mean, I know what I would do if this was real life, and for some reason I was <laughs> embarking on this uh, type of life. But sometimes real world logic doesn't always seem to uh, surf on well in this game. Is 
Is there like an objectives menu or a quest menu or something or a mission menu? Not that I can say. Where do I have to go to check quests that I haven't, that I have finished? Because that would be the place to start. Is that the compendium? No. Story? Maybe. Yes, but these are all ones that I've completed, isn't it? Yes. Huh, maybe I can't check a quest I'm currently on. Alright, I'll have to do it the way I think it should be done then. Uh, right. So. We're going to start by making camp. Right, for future reference, how close am I to the site? Uh, that'll do. That'll do. That's probably about the right distance, to be honest. Right, let's start by cooking up a bunch of the game we've... Um... This isn't necessary to completing the mission, by the way. It's just I wanted to wait till it's... Um... Uh, till it's night, and if that means making a campfire, then I may as well take advantage of it. Am I supposed to be hammering the space bar or just holding it down? I'm not always sure. Blimey, we have a lot of big game, don't we? Wonder where we got that all from. I remember the bison, but I think that gave us prime beef. Became full of calories. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Maybe I'll have a bite of that before the mission. I imagine prime beef is probably full of calories as well. Now two elks and one crocodile in one setting. It's sitting. Still looks underweight. Pl uh, plain plump bird. the camera I can't why would you want to just look at the back of his head though oh has that done it not really hmm wait are there crocodiles in this game there's oh there might be alligators I don't know about crocodiles. I'm not aware of crocodiles being native to North America. Yeah. 
Right, just a bit of plain venison to go. And then we'll wait till night and worry about uh, getting those two wagons. I'm still utterly bewildered by how the, exactly how the game thinks I'm going to be able to steal two wagons on my own. Right, that's all the provisions done. Apparently I can make some special... I can make fire arrows. So for those not aware, fire arrows don't really work in real life. With modern chemistry you could probably cook up something that would sort of work the way fire arrows are supposed to work, but even in this period they couldn't have made a fire arrow. Let alone, um... Historically speaking... Whoops! I didn't mean to do that, I meant to rest. Whoops. Oh dear, I guess I'm making another camp then. There we go. Sleep, I guess. Uh, until night. Must be nice for Mr. Morgan to finally get a decent amount of rest. Right. Hmm. I kind of wish you had put the fire out, though. Because people are going to know you've been there the whole time. Like, having a fire up there for some of the day, sure, but I feel like you should have got rid of it long before now. Oh, actually, I think I am further away than I thought I was. A bit further away, yeah. Right. Binoculars. Looking good from this side. I think we're on the wrong side, though. Alright. Where's that horse? Let's move in a bit closer and see what we can see. I'd like to do this with, without uh, any loss of life. If that's not possible, then I'd like to do it without any living witnesses. Sound like wolves. Don't see wolves though. Oh, careful. That was scary. Once I realised how steep the ground was. Okay then. Careful, careful, careful. Right, they still have at least one guard there. might actually be a good point to to stand on and get the binoculars out. No, it doesn't have a clear enough view. Hmm. I want to get a better view of the site from another side. Oh, this might be the point to get off my horse.
Of course, if this was real life, I'd have to be also thinking about what I'm going to do about the horse. So I'm not going to just leave my horse there. Right, where's the binoculars? What are we looking at? People camped there, eh? I don't think that's the same site, is it? No, that's just a random camp. Okay, I'm nowhere near as close as I thought I was. Let's avoid the camp, since we don't want witnesses, we don't want people placing us in the area. Oh, am I glad I found you. Arthur, they got Bill. What? Who has it? Bounty men. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well... What? You coming? Alright, lead the way. I don't believe this. Is this actually part of the story, or is this a random event? I was able to track them pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp. I head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. For moral reasons, I want to kill nobody. Or at least make sure they die quietly. Exactly. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? Yeah, I think it is, Arthur. Well, let's save his ass first. Worry about how to kick it later. Okay. Okay, we're getting close. Oh, sorry. There they are, on foot from here. Stay <laughs> well, so much for the stealthy entrance. Is the game going to be mad about me if I don't use a pistol to cut the ropes? But again, you should really be untying them, not cutting ropes. Ropes are valuable. Oh, I owe you fellers for this. Damn right you do. Well, I'm going to head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. Oh, not gonna help me with the. What's next? Not gonna help me with the wagons then. But at least we got a new hat out of this. At least one good thing came of it. Is that a wolf? I hope that wasn't a wolf. A platinum pocket watch. Can you imagine the extravagance? Ah, oh, now it's daylight. I'm gonna have to wait a whole nother day to assault the... The refinery. This may not be the safest way down. 
pretty sure you can sleep the hours away at camp in the day or something. Yeah, I can. That's what I did before. I cooked all the meat. I then slept away the... Uh, slept all day until it was night. I, I was doing my reconnaissance around the refinery when suddenly um, Javier came uh, racing towards me telling me about how they got Bill. So I spent the night saving Bill instead. Right. So, let's set up camp again. For a moment I thought it was actually part of the story. That like you try to assault this place and then... Bill's taken. But no, apparently not. Okay, I guess we're just sleeping for 18 hours then. Probably better make sure he has something to eat before we uh, do the attack. New journal entry. What's our new journal entry today? This feral I took... wait, that's the same journal entry. Is this not sequential or something? I don't get it. I have no idea why it said there's a new journal entry when there doesn't appear to be. Uh, what was I doing? Food. Yeah, let's have some plain venison. And... Just tear down the camp. Oh, look at that beard. He's certainly grown some facial hair trying to uh, take those wagons. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to check something, but I've forgotten what. Nope, it's gone. Let's go back for those wagons. I think that's the same Bill, whose surname is Williamson. He's William Williamson. <laughs> Unless I've made a mistake. To be fair, it is memorable. I change what works, indeed. that forward camp again. That was the one I was really close to when Javier came racing towards me. Right, we must be getting close now. Right, binoculars time. There's a guard there. Alright, what side are we on? This is the side we want to approach from. Alright, I'll take the horse in slightly closer, but not right, but on. mostly so that it'll be easier to make my escape if I'm for one reason or another not able to use the uh, 
Easy now. The wagon is planned. Excellent. How does he do that? He manages to stick the reins to absolutely anything. I mean, without any tying. Like, I know you could tie reins to a tree, but there was no tying there. He just sort of slung them vaguely in the direction of the tree and they stuck. Yeah, there is a guard, isn't there? Where are you, Mr. Guard? There you are. Unfortunate. Oh, there's two guards. That's going to make things very difficult indeed. I was about to say, as much as I'd like to not take any of the guards out, even if I manage to sneak in, how on earth am I getting the wagons out um, if there's guards right there? Where are the wagons? Can I get eyes on them? I don't want this to turn into a shootout, though. If it was one guard, I could have snuck up behind them with the knife. Trying to determine if the wagons are inside or outside. You'd think inside, wouldn't you? But they're actually almost in line with me now. Okay. I don't have line of sight. Ah, that must be one of the wagons, I assume. I can see a horse. Yeah. That's probably what we're dealing with here. That was a dog. Okay, if they have guard dogs, that makes this even harder. I mean, I'm sure I could do it. There's one of the wagons. Okay. I've got sight in the wagons. I know two, about two of the guards, so maybe more. There's a guard dog. Bloodhound. Found in towns across the states. Bloodhounds have been bred for hunting wild boar and deer. I'm just not quite sure how I'm going to do this, to be honest. Not without violence. I, oh, I'm worried that it's getting light. The only other thing I could try... I wish the nights were a bit longer. I feel like the nights are only about a quarter of a day in this game. The only other thing I could do is try and do a perimeter check. Oh, it's definitely getting light, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's like, is no one guarding this entrance? I don't think anyone is. They are. Okay. Quietly does it. Up here. Oh, I wish it wasn't so light. They gone, they were right there. Oh, there they are. I don't want to antagonize them, I want to end them. Quietly. Game's not letting me, I don't know why. Alright. Well, if the game won't let me take them out violently, then it's plan B. Goodbye. Yep, that's exactly what I'm planning to do. But farewell. This is full of oil, it's your property, you don't want to be shooting it. I'll worry about where I'm taking it later. My horse has somehow unhitched itself. I don't think they're even chasing me. Excuse me? You just spawned in, sir. Alright, you want to do it that way? Oh, it's leaking oil now. <laughs> Poor dear. Sorry. We good? Right. <laughs> Oops. Four horses. Now for a 50 point turn. Oh, jobs are good and Now, do I have to go back for the other? Good thing I brought the horse with me. 
Okay, what could I have done to do a better job? Deliver the wagon to the dropper point within 1 minute 40 seconds. Oh, come on. Whoa! That was close. Weather's turned a bit wet. I've just realised the draw distance doesn't seem that amazing, but I think it's because the train's so undulating. Oh wow. Uh, I think that was actually unrealistic there. I think with the, I think it would have taken longer between seeing the lightning and hearing the thunder um, if the lightning was as far as away as it appeared to be. Oh, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Yep. That's fine, we can just go back up. There we go. Oh, goodness me. Right. We'll probably stop there for tonight. I've been watching. Interesting. Even when you were right behind the guard, he didn't notice your presence, and it took him at least one to two seconds to respond when he found you on the horse. Yeah, that was um, a little surprising, wasn't it? Archie, I'll tell you what we should do quickly. We should have a good shave. Goodness me, look at all that growth. Much better. Save again quickly. Uh, story, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's done it. Right, so... You in the game looks much better now. Oh, I'm glad you think so. Uh, so, yeah. We'll stop there for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be doing some more Red Dead Redemption 2 next time I stream, which should be Friday from 4 o'clock GMT. I'll also be streaming next Saturday and next Monday. That's the plan anyway. If any of that should change for any reason, then I will announce it on social media, which is currently X, formerly known as Twitter, Mastodon, Blue Sky, and Meta Threads. And I would also mention it on our Discord server. So yeah, interesting game, Red Dead. Redemption 2. 
Uh, I think the things that annoyed me about it after the first stream still sort of annoy me now, but on the other hand, I'm getting more into it in other ways. Certainly getting to grips with more of the systems, so... It doesn't detract from the game prep play as much as it was before. Interesting little game. I do think if you try to take it seriously, though, it's quite a depressing game. It's very... If, you, if you're playing at all sensibly and seriously, then you are required to um, witness and participate in some pretty brutal acts. But yeah, it's interesting. So, once again, thank you for coming everyone, and I hope you all have a wonderful night. Good night!